Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another stream of Jordy Dreaming. Do I remember what the fuck we were doing? Yeah, we need to talk to Dismukfo here. Hey, got a sec? Oh, uh, sure. You're the one they hauled in yesterday, right? Yep. Hurt your good with your hands. That's right, sir. I made a name for myself on this, this island as well. Let's just say I'm a craftsman of sorts, or at least I was until I got thrown in here. That's a regular old citizen doing dumped in one of the highest security prisons in the country. S I suppose I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I was minding my own business, doing business with some fine gentleman who turned out to be Yakuza. When the police showed up for them, they took me into. <coughs> Yakuza stream, Paul? Hell yeah, Cybergaming. The Yakuza stream, Spog. How are you doing this fine evening? Some uh, less legal activities. It's in my line of work called those crimes. What kind are we talking? Well, I made mullets, bolts, and sold all kinds of deadly weapons. Oh. Never heard of soul, though. No, sir. Uh, not directly, anyway. To mention the fact I got forced into the business to start with. Hmm. I am A-OK. -okay. I'm doing A-OK. -okay. You don't say. Well, whatever your story, I got a favor to ask. Gonna need you to make a grappling hook for me. Think you can manage that? Things possible as long as I have the materials. Ask why. And ask, but I ain't telling. Be better off not knowing any. I, uh, alright then. Do you need to it to be specifically sturdy? Enough to hold a person or two? I see. Alright, no more questions for me then. Just bring me a nice thick chain. And that grappling hook should be a kinch. Fortunately for you, I saw one of the inmates swinging one around the other day. Just try to keep things simple, okay? The guards would be on you in a flash if you start trouble. Right, thanks. Chain. Chain. Ooh. Vince the new guy, how are you finding life on the inside? Nothing. Look, man, you're gonna, you're not gonna last long in here if you don't start playing nice. Just remember who you're dealing with now. This person is full of the worst society's got to offer, and not everyone's gonna take kindly to your bullshit. Hmm. Good to know. Don't you get that awesome chain, Kata Kataoka? I'm jealous as hell, man. Marin was doing construction on the new cell block. I nicked it from there, no problem. Shit. Gotta get one of those construction jobs. I could use myself a nice new weapon. Chain, huh? Looks like I find my man. The chain. I smell a hint. Yeah. Same. I hear you got yourself a chain. What's it to you? Mind letting me borrow it? Ha! <laughs> Got yourself a joke here, boys. Guns are the only thing that keep you alive in this hellhole. Not a chance I'm lending mine out to the first little shit that comes scroll up to me. Sorry, but I need that chain real bad. If you ain't gonna lend it to me, I'm just gonna have to take it by force. Wait, weren't we gonna be playing nice? Is starting great. Serious? Get up. Stop grabbing my ass. Out. Nani. Nani. This is going great. I can tell. God, this guy sucks. <clears throat> Stop grabbing! I'm not smashing my X button fast enough, apparently. <laughs> what are you guys doing? 
failing miserably. This guy is hella weak. Should I just say we're in a bad situation here? Can I pick any. Nope. I miss Akiyama. He was strong at least, and quick. Shit, here, just take it. You borrowed. A chain bad situation is an understatement when they grab you. Uh-huh. Sorry, again, nothing personal. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Look, I don't really care what you do with it, but you better give it back to me when you're done. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna turn it into a grappling hook. And uh, we're not coming back here. <laughs> Got the chain already. Whoa, you're good. This should work quite nicely. It's uh, pretty heavy, though. You sure that's okay? That's going to be a problem. You say so. Now, for the hook part of this whole arrangement, you wouldn't happen to have a pitchfork, would you? Uh, no. Hmm. Well, I've got it. One of the guys they put on the farm duty might have something you can use. I mean, you can't farm without equipment. I think I can get by with the pitchfork or maybe even a hoe. I could be scrounging up farm tools for this. Ex Tojo Yakuza. Amazaki's taking you for the ride of the century. You mean, used to be in the Tojo just like you? Let me tell you. Nothing's good's gonna come from trusting that dirty two timer. Did you know he and the Snake Flower Tribe tried taking over the Tojo? Needless to say, more than a few guys in here love nothing more than to stick a knife in his belly. Got beef with Hamazaki. Take it up with him. Don't got nothing to do with me. Sure, that's true. Let me guess. He said he's gonna help you break out. Sorry, pal. He's gonna sell you out first chance he gets. You'll see. Just trying to warn you. Back out now before shit really hits the fan. Come on, slip me a couple million and I'll make it worth your while. Give me a break, man. You've been hitting me up for cash every month since I got tossed in this dump. I ain't made of money. What's the big deal? You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yeah, but you scratching my back gonna end up bleeding me dry. Fine. I'll get one of my pals on the outside to wire it over tomorrow. Yeah, pleasure doing business. Don't worry. Make sure you're... Uh, you are taken care of real good. You mean? See anyone else around? Of course you. Must have done something big to end up here. What was it? Arson? Salt? Grand Theft Auto? I don't gotta tell you a damn thing. I'll back off before I make you back off. Yeah. Sure. Just pissed myself a little. <laughs> Exposition. Well, that's nice. They in here and you end up the biggest fight I've seen in years. You really showed those guys what what? Guess you got what was coming for you for all that though. In case you couldn't tell, this isn't your run in the mill prison. But hey, it's not all bad behind bars. The real trick is appreciating the small stuff whenever you can. See that guy smoking over there? How do you think he got that sig? As long as the guards don't have it out for you, this place can be kind of cozy. Point is, keep your nose clean. If you want to survive, you might even get some special treatment along the way. How do I know who is who? Got a smoke in here? Yeah, out of your damn mind. <laughs> Guess you're new in the neck of the woods. Cigarettes the best way to make friends in here. You don't have them? I'll watch your back. Huh. Like a freaking Mack truck, Kawa and I son. How's a fella get that ripped? I'm telling you, man. It's all the work Dave got me doing out in the field. Shit. I gotta get myself from farm duty. Bad chance. You know how much I had to shell out for that privilege? Basically, the prison runs on cigars. Yeah. 
and how much money they got on the outside to give to the guards. Gonna happen unless you're ready to lay down some serious cash. Looks like I found my farmer. Farmer son. <clears throat> I hear you work at the farm here. Yeah, they let me run the roost over a little patch, seeing as I'm always such good behavior. What's with you? Got a question for you. Uh, you use a pitchfork or a hoe over there. Sure do. Big old hoe. Used to turn soil. Mind if I borrow it from you? Won't be long. Nah, man. The guards lose their shit if one of the tools goes missing. Besides, it's not like I keep them on me all day. Please, I need it real bad. Hmm. You promise it won't be long? Of course. Fine, then. Bring me a smoke and I'll think about it. This guy's supposed to score a cigarette in here. Not the commis commissary. That's for damn sure. Most guys I know get them smuggled in from the outside. Anyway, get on it. I'll have that hoe ready by the time you scare up that smoke. Don't have a choice here. Okay, uh, so what do we uh, go ask this guy? You there. Think you can bomb uh, smoke off you? Yeah? Just asking. Wait, aren't you the new guy? That's me. You didn't waste any time making friends back in the cafeteria. I was there. You lost my appetite seeing the smackdown you gave those guys. Shit was vile, man. Right, damn. If it wasn't entertaining, though. Shame it landed you in the hole. But hey, all good things come to come at a cost. Here, you deserve this after the show you put on. That was a lot easier than I expected. <laughs> he got his ass. Yeah, I know, right? Probably realized by now, but cigarettes are practically like gold in here. You want to loosen someone's lips, all you gotta do is pump a smoke between them. Anyway, be seeing you. Well, not for very long. But, uh, yeah, be seeing you, bro. The cigarette man, yeah? I'm supposed to light it. No deal till you bring me a lamp. Great. <sighs> Gotta get the fucking lighter from someone's butthole. Wait, what the fuck is that there? Well, I gotta go watch Britain's Got Talent. Hey, 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 enjoy that Britain's Got Talent. Thank you very much for stopping by, dude. Until the next time. You found a lighter. Well, that was unanticipated. I didn't actually expect that they would let me through like that. Here you go. Got your second lighter right here. Yeah, about time. Slow down there, big guy. Never said I was gonna give it to you. Just that I think about it. And then think harder. Or do I gotta rattle your brains a bit? You seriously threatening me? Me? Man. You're just as dumb as you look. Running your mouth if you want. Looks like there's only one way to settle this. At least it's only two guys this time, instead of fucking three. But this guy might be very... Uh... Easy. Two guys I can handle. Three guys that swap off their grapples. That's annoying. I give, I give. Just take the damn hoe and go. Could have saved yourself a world of trouble if you just gave it to me in the first place. You borrowed a hoe. Ha! How does one even borrow a hoe? And she... Practically scrounged up all the materials in here. This should be perfect, yes. Pardon me for a moment while I step into my workshop. Sorry to keep you waiting. One grappling hook, just as you ordered. Don't know what you're planning, and I prefer to keep it that way. But please, don't tell anyone where you got this. Don't worry, I ain't no snitch. Great. Seeing how you seem to do things, I bet whatever you're planning is big. I can't wait to find out what it is. Anyway, good luck.
A Mazaki, you butthole. Job getting a grappling hook now to hide it under the manhole near the guard tower. Grout wants the plan's emotion. Uh, guard tower, manhole. Oh. It's no guard tower. You have to chain and grappling hook. Think we're good to go. Here goes nothing. 1 a.m. Dun 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 dun. Time to get the party started. Where the fuck did he get that? Look at him being a badass. <laughs> This guy is sadist anyways. I do need to think about the fact that I actually don't have any healing items. I don't know how much fighting I gotta do.
Damn it. Sorry, but I gotta borrow your keys. The section key. Oh, there are healing items there. <laughs> Go on, Sejima. Try and escape. We'll see how far you get. It's the first one and tried to fly the coop. But guess what? No single souls made it out. You know why that is? Because I've clipped their wings the moment they were dumped and dumb enough to try. Go ahead. Let's see how far you get. You're still nowhere close. Wish I'd known that was there. Hmm, new items. Uh, new guys to beat up. Wait, did I only pick up two? Three guards. right on the face. Anything in here? Nope. Nice rolling action there, mate. Ah, nice. Stamina Nix. Hello, Ahiko. How are you doing today, buddy? Good. Plus. Hey, wait, where the fuck did Saito suddenly come from? He sure as hell recovers quick. for a big dummy. To smash faster! Okay, my faster smashing is not working. But my PC just randomly shut down again. Oh, that sucks. Saito. This guy is a cheater.
Feel the heat. That must hurt. Salmon. He just has another key on him. <laughs> Gotta make sure I pick up everything. Yet what gives? This proves a damn thing. I need hard evidence. Damn it. Stop right there. This is as far as you go. Another level up. You already like to see that. You I ain't getting caught, not today. You alright? No problem, how's about you? Got everything I need, let's roll. About time. Let's pick up the grappling hook before we start. Scaling the guard tower, come on. The roof take us to the yard, out to the yard. Might grab enhanced escapes. Hey, Sep. How you doing? Sniper. It's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna sneak behind and take him out. You keep him nice and distracted and don't stand still. As long as you keep moving, he won't catch you. Ow. Apparently I was, um... <laughs> not moving enough. That's why we got uh, these things, right? Enjoy the lurk, Sap. What kind of lame-ass sniper cannot snipe someone that's moving?
Oh, bot. Flashbang. See me behind this side. Stamina next. Looks like he can snipe me from while I'm hitting this door either. Good. You guys suck. <laughs> Stop grabbing my ass. Running out of HP. <laughs> Still one guy there. Guy with the Are you kidding me? Take out the sniper. I just have to deal with the other Fetso. Good. Keep going, I'll catch up with you soon. level up. Not sure if that's gonna do me any good. Thing. Sigma. If you're waiting, come on, let's move. We're getting close. We are. Uh... Oh, I had another one. Thought I used this one. Maybe I picked up two. Back up over here, found the prisoners, and let them get away. Holy hell, that's a lot of guys. 
Most of the yard though. We can't let them stop us now. Gotcha, let's rock these fools. their fucking sticks. Mogi. Okay, me ready. How is Jordi? Jordi is doing okay. Jordi's doing okay. How are you today, Sep? Throws like it's nobody's bloody business. It's not like Magma stabbed you in the back either, mate. Hey, Bobo. How you doing, buddy? Got eaten by a rotten sea beast place. Ha. Nice. 
<laughs> Do we actually fight? I don't stand a fucking chance against this many, mate. These guys get up way too quick. Let me beat this Koga guy first though. He has a gun. I need thick meds. I couldn't even pick up the gun. Saito is a fucking asshole. Oh, here is his gun. Oh. Gotta thin the masses. Is that not a gun? Oh no, it's the gun I just threw, isn't it? How is your day been, Bobo? Guy's sidestepping too much. What a hassle. Nice uh, tornado uh, spin kick, whatever it's called. Terrible, been troubleshooting until four, and then I had to zero motivation to do other stuff, so I watched some people while I was archiving stuff. Okay. Turn.
Got him. But and I ate so much baguette with Bree. But it was so damn delicious. There's new owner in the prop stop restaurant near work. That's good to know because the old one sucked. Nice. There's no way he's escaping, right? <laughs> Doesn't have the strength anymore. He ends up getting betrayed still. Actually didn't run. He saved him. Yeah. But before that, you couldn't give a shit. Second guy who trusted me. Kondo, I'm my no banda. Kokomo de Korea, Dajuda. Ato, Borigin, Maini, Ixing, Amaruka, Doga, Mondaida. お前には時間がない。先に行け。それにどう。俺はお前は死刑囚だ。脱獄者の真っ先に殺人を終わるのはお前だ。あんた。それに俺には切り札がある。さっき所長室で探してたやつのことか。ああ。これさえあれ、
沖縄にいるその男を頼れ桐生だぞいいな浜崎浜崎おいYeah, that's what we like to see. Kill him! Throw him off! <clears throat> What's so obvious? Nice. I wonder if Majima and Sajima are going to make up during this game. Or if I got to fight. Zima. Tiger and Dragon. I guess it's true. Of course, Haruka finds him right in front of the doorstep of Kiryu. I wish I brought some snacks. Please wake up, Oji-san. He's opening his eyes. So glad you're okay. Where am I? This is the Morning Glory Orphanage. We have lots of kids, but this is the first time we've taken in an adult in an orphanage. Glad you're okay, mister. I was worried you were dead when I found you down on the beach. Beach? What beach? Right. Must have washed up here. Are you sure you're okay, mister? I think so. My Uncle Cass should be back any minute now. He thought you might have been shipwrecked, so he's checking in with the police. Where everything's going to be okay. Just... Oh, that's bad. Ochi -san. Call the FBI, the police. Get off. I got cut kick, kick him in the nuts, the nuts. Must have been a long ass time. Twenty years in jail? Longer? No problem. あ、そうだ。私ちょっと町のスーパーまで行ってくるね。晩ご飯の用意しなくちゃ。うん。あ、あ。それじゃ、行ってくるね。Kill you. It's been a long time, friend. Glad to see you're up. How are you feeling? Fine enough. Sorry about all the trouble. Don't worry about it. The kids are out a few days on the field trip. Plenty of time on my hands. Guess luck ain't always going against me. I have to ask, what happened to you? I uh, remember being passed out on the beach this morning. Haruka found you while she was out walking our dog. The girl who was watching over you. So that's her name. 
That means you still have your memory. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how'd you end up washed on the beach? The reason you don't tell me? It ain't that just... Can you at least tell me your name? Can't even do that. No, I owe it to you for all the help. But don't folk usually introduce themselves before they ask a guy to do the same? Fair point. Sorry. Trying to ruffle any feathers. It's okay. My name is Kiryu. Kazuma Kiryu. Hold up. That guy has Maki was talking about? Something wrong? Oh, no, nah, it's nothing. Super common. Sweden level common. Wait, what? <laughs> Alright. Gave you my name. Suzuki. Yeah, that's it. Son, huh? Common name. Not really around here. I take it you're from the mainland. Take that as yes. Anyway, what are you doing down here? What are you going to do now? You didn't have a wallet on you. You washed up. You won't be able to go to a doctor or check in the police without your ID. Can help you get in touch with your family if you need hand though. Suzuki-san, I can't help you if you don't tell me what you need. Let me ask you something. Is your name really Kiryu? That's me. Ain't life mysterious. Who'd have thought that end up floating right on your damn doorstep? Don't think I understand Kiryu-san. You gotta help me. So. Let me get straight. Someone on the boat you were working on mentioned me and told you to look for me if you ever needed help. Mm-hmm. Then your ship sank, and the rest of the crew drowned while you narrowly managed to swim to shore. Yep. Interesting. Listen, Kiryu son, I know it's weird, but you gotta help me. I need to get back to Kamarucho, no matter what. I'm not asking for a hundred grand, nothing. Just enough to get me to Tokyo. Don't worry, I'll pay you back. Just as soon as I take care of business and scrap some cash together, I swear. So please, loan me the money. Suzuki son, what's up? How long were you in for? How many years did you spend in prison? What are you talking about? Listen, I know you weren't out on the boat. I went into town when you were asleep and asked the coast guard if there were any accidents last night. Turns out, last night was one of the calmest they had in months. Cloud in the sight. Definitely not shipwreck weather. Besides, you think it costs to get to Tokyo from Okinawa nowadays? I don't know. Costs more than, what, 30 grand? Won't get you anything beyond the plane ticket. What about transportation to the airport? Or once you get to Tokyo? You know how much a taxi ride costs you? Well, you don't need to pretend. I know you don't know. You've been locked up for years, haven't you? How'd you figure it out? It was a tough conclusion to reach. I mean, look at you. So what you thought something was off, then went and pieced all that together? It was because of Haruka. Haruka? What happened this afternoon? Yeah. Saw that, huh? It's already eyes of someone who uh, hasn't seen a woman in a long time. Hasn't been a part of everyday society. I know the feeling, the hopelessness you sink into behind bars, how difficult it can be to readjust, cheer out. I was in for a long stretch myself, oh yeah? I spent a decade alone in the dark cell, honestly, I'm lucky I was just, wasn't longer. Yet ten years, must have been for murder. Guess your sentence was longer, or should I say, is longer? Well, I won't tell you what to do, but here's some advice. You should turn yourself into police before they catch you themselves, but... It might go easy on you if you go peacefully before the media catch wind of your story. What do you think? If that's what you want to do, I'll glad lend a hand. <laughs> so funny, don't you get it? There ain't no going back for me, they execute me on sight. So you're in death row. Well, 10 years hard time. Talk to me when you're done 25. All that matters to me is now getting back to Kamarucho. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure it happens. This ain't getting... This ain't about getting a fresh start. Never has been. Hoping is to find the truth. That and makes those bastards taste the pain in being dealing these 25 years. Don't you get it? I gotta avenge my boss, even if it kills me. Revenge, huh? I'm really grateful for all you've done for me. You and the little girl. But I can't stick around. You know too much about me now. So please, just give me money before this gets ugly. I can get you, son. Laters, Bobo. No. あんたがどんな経緯で無所に入っ
悲しい結末だけどあんたがどうしても復讐をするっていうならその訳を教えてくれ事情もわからないのに手助けはできない教えられへんいいから俺はあんたをここで止めるあれはあんたをここで止めるあれはあんたをここで止めるあれはあんたをここで止めるあれはあんたをここで止めるどうやらあんたは俺と同じ匂いの男のようやな。俺の兄弟にもよう似とる。俺もあんたと似てる男を知ってる。安心したわ。あんた相手なら間違えて殺す心配はないようや。ああ。こっちもあんたがどこまで本気なのか確かめさせてもらうぜ。Uh, it's not pre Yakuza k i r y u This is Kiryu after he already became the fourth chairman. But、uh, he stepped out of the Yakuza to care for.、Uh... Kazuma Kiryu. You stop cheating. I have new abilities unlocked. Charging tackle. Okay, at least when we're fighting here, he still has his all, all his moves. Out of potions, ain't I? I wonder if I'm supposed to be able to beat Kiryu. There's no way we can actually beat the Dragon of Dojima. Holy shit! You went for that move? Do I really? Uh huh. No, I don't. Okay, I think we need to win. Hey Lizzie. How are the kittens? Abilities. Back. Oh, that might actually be good. You stop grabbing, cheater.
Lee Metz help. <laughs> I'm getting absolutely blasted by Kiryu. they can get on can't get on me or the dogs that's good dead take a break with a mini game i can't take a break with a mini game lizzie we're in the middle of something also Fuck the mini games. Damn, I actually got hit there. Combo speed up. Okay, let's go with this one then. smash my face into the ground. a giant pulse that's gonna be so good once it cools with some ice. Sounds disgusting, Lizzie. You and your tea. Saijima sucks ass.
you find Hibiscus Tea amazing. Doesn't mean it is amazing. This fucking guy cannot do anything. Just fucking up, Siller. You just don't know the command. Uh, let's see what else can I take. get that close. Charging tackle. Cheater, kid you. smash into the ground. Let me go! Cheating grappler! I think I know what I need to do. Get away from me!
Saijima, you suck. Seriously. All the characters that I had to play as in the Yakuza games, you are by far the worst one. Such a cheap move, Kiryu. I'm not supposed to defend against that. Come on, try and hit me. No! Not like that! <sighs> okay, getting closer. Guys, it's the wrong command you're putting in. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Guys, come on. Stop being Pepega, for fuck's sake. How long have you guys been in here now? You should know this from the back of your hands. <sighs> Lizzie, you're not being funny. No, you don't. Don't just only use that.
Bullshit Kiryu. Super cheap, this fight.
is not fair, man. This is probably the worst fight in the fucking game. Absolutely atrocious. Where the fuck is their toughness see around here? You guys are fucking lying to me, game. Guess that's the strat. Seriously, why can this guy not hit a single fucking fly in the sky? Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Pokemon. Yeah, I finally got him. Unless I fuck up the quick time events, obviously. Jesus Christ. Now, if only I remembered who the fuck Hamazaki was. Fucking hell, this fight sucked! What the hell kind of bollocks is this? Who is he? How is he? Not good. Looks like he's been having nightmares. Right, doctor said he's exhausted, probably malnourished too. You're worried about him, aren't you? Can tell. Yeah, that end. Thinking about what he said on the beach. Mm hmm. But Hamazaki, you mentioned, that's the guy who stabbed you last year. Never forget that name. I can't trust someone who says they're friends with him. Believe me, I know how you feel. He's really friends with Hamazaki. I hate him. I don't know. Listen, Haruka. Even if he does know Hamazaki, it doesn't automatically mean he's a bad person. Hamazaki w Oh, crap. When he lost the fight for Tojo Clan, he lost the only thing that meant something to him. I was probably the only one he could take his anger out on. If Hamazaki came to me now asking for help, I'd give him in... I'd give it to him in a heartbeat, as long as he's learned to have some faith in his fellow man, that is. Uncle Kaz. So what do you say, Aruka? You really think he's a bad man just because he knows Hamazaki? Don't know what I think. He's the Yakuza, no question. The tattoo is a dead giveaway. But I have one of those, too. He and I aren't so different in that respect. Yeah, but... You've seen plenty of men like us over the years. Some good, some bad. Or do you think he falls on the spectrum? If I had to pick, I don't think he's a bad person. Can't say for sure. That's just the impression I get. Alright then, good to know. Going somewhere? I have some sour thing to do, right now? You'll need a nice meal when he comes to. The doctor said he hasn't been eating very well after all. Aren't all the stores closed by now? Don't worry, I'm sure somewhere in town will still be open. Maybe, but what's wrong? Are you worried? About being left alone with him? No, it's not that, it's just... Relax, he's not going to hurt you. That's not the kind of man he is. Should be going. I won't be long. Ah, that's right, Haruka. Hmm? If you have a bag of the bag, I have a bag of the bag. Eh? What did you find? I found it Mm. Hmm. At the fucking fight, goddamn bloody kill you. Worst fight in the entire fucking game. Oh, 
鈴木。ああ。はい、あれ。鈴木さんのなんでしょ。おじさんが起きたら渡せって言ってた。なんか海辺でおじさんが見つけたんだって。鈴木さんのものだから渡せって。Now I want to know what's in the letter. どうしたの、鈴木さん。大丈夫。あ。あ、大丈夫。鈴木さん。おじちゃん。ね。はるかちゃんか。ほんま。いろいろありがとうな。え? <笑>でもさ、鈴木さん怪我してるんだし、もっとゆっくりしていた方が。ほなな、はるかちゃん。鈴木さん。鈴木さんちゃうね。俺はさえじまえ。さえじま大義な。さえじまさん。さえ。桐生さんにも言うといてくれ。俺はさえじまやったで。うん。絶対にこの恩は忘れへん。またいつか必ず会おう。そう、伝えといてくれ。わかった。わかった。おじさん。おじさん、鈴木さん、あっちが佐島さん帰っちゃったよ。そうか。そうかって。いいの。まだ怪我治ってなかったみたいだけど。ま、大丈夫だろう。大丈夫って。まあ。あ、おじさん、そ
25 years vacuum. This really, Kamarucho? Ouch. Out of my way, old timer. What happened to this place? This has gone down to crapper these last 25 years. Well, time to track down the boss. Start with the old Sasai Family HQ out in the front west park. Hey, don't start doing anything shady, okay? Comps are everywhere and I can't have them thinking I've done anything to do with you. Kamurucho on high alert. They have sent many of their officers out on patrol around town. They catch anyone acting suspicious. There are two types of officers. Some stand guards in place and watch their surroundings while others follow a patrol. Approach shady individuals to question them. Running down the streets will attract the attention of patrolling officers. You may want to enter first person mode and check for officers before moving quickly. Be careful out there. Okay, we don't have any site missions available yet. Good fucking hell, this ball, this fight was atrocious. Do I have any useful items? Hell no. We're all out of that. Is that an officer? Yeah, that's an officer. Come by. Is this guy gonna attack me? I'm not really clear on the details, but I'm going to be a world champion fighter one day. You look strong, how about a little brawl? Gang members. Make some money. No, I don't mind that either. Some healing items. was my family's turf. Ain't no sign of them now. So I'll ask folk around here. Got a sec. The Sasaki family used to have an office around these parts. Know anything about that? Remember some Yakuza types used to hang out here, but that was, what, 20, 30 years ago? This guy's any idea where their balls went? Sorry, I can't say. I do. Toku-san might, though. Who's Toku? Where do I find him? Or homeless guy like me. He's been busking around town for decades. Spends his Days down in the underground mall. The hell's that? It's a bunch of stores they set up under Showa Street, built just a while back. All things, one big fancy shopping center beneath the streets. Hence the name. Alright then, guess I'll go see if your 
if your pal Poku's still hanging around this underground mall. Should be. I'm sure I'll be able to tell you what you want to know. Hmm. Nice homeless man. Fuck are you? You're my way. Look like he's gonna let me through. Best avoid causing. There isn't that much police, thankfully. You the guy that took my girl? You look real similar to the guy my buddy was telling me about. I ain't taking excuses, I'll be messing up that lady stealing face dingus. Okay. Did I just knock down a bystander? I oh, no, he was not bystander. So well. Just like that, eh? bad I mistook you for someone else. Wow, just 1,000 yen? Goku? Mm, yeah, that's me. Who are you? Name's Seijima. I'm looking for anyone who knew Kamurucho back in the day, around 25 years ago. Someone said you might you have been living in these parts a long time. That I have, over 30 years. Maybe more. Guess I lost count. Ever heard of the Sasai family? Hmm, that name does ring a bell. They had an office by West Park till at least 25 years ago. So I started coming back to me. But can you tell me about them? It's kind of fuzzy. Some Elky hole might jog my memory. Elky what? Who's hooch? Elky hole? Live off that stuff, but it's been days since I could afford a drink. Just can't think straight when I'm sober. I'll grab some booze. This is not booze. Yeah, let me go grab some Elky hole for the guy. <laughs> Elky hole. Okay, guys. This is not uh, fucking. Uh... I don't know. Is there anything wrong with uh, a lot of convenience stores around? It is a machine. One sake. Sucks. 
sake. Back, my old friend. No, not you. The boons. It's good stuff. Warmest body and soul. Happy for you. You remember anything yet? Oh, right. The Sasai family. Sorry to break this to you, but they're long gone. Is it true? What about the bulls? Where's Sasai son? I'm afraid I don't know what happened after uh, the came off there. Pat Patriarch. Don't let it get you down. Besides, Sakusa don't exactly advertise their coming and going. You might very well still be around. Sorry, it wasn't much help. Wait, I know. Why not go back to where it all began? That's uh, always helped find me things. Might as well start a little apartment. Like I got any other leads to work with. Do we know where your old apartment is, mate? Isn't that in a different uh, town? I doubt it's still his old apartment, though. <laughs> like, let's be real now. Been in the slammer for 25 years. They uh, up and uh, threw your shit out. Officer just went straight dashing after me. Hell no, fam. I ain't got no time for this bullshit. Kiryu chan! His throws are slow. This is so annoying. Did I just get stun guns because he was walking? なんかさ、よく勘違いされんだよね、俺。俺さ、いわゆるチンピラ風の見た目じゃない。だからいつも舐められるわけ。でもさ、俺一応あの荒いな兄貴のシャテやってんだよ。弱かったら務まんねっつ
Why are you pounding your own boys? It's kind of complicated. Just they jump you for dropping out? No, not exactly. Well, you're obviously not a friend of Shib Shibata's. Just the man I need. Wait, need me for what? Gonna help me find my boss, Sasai-san. Sorry, man, but I got my own shit to take care of. <laughs> Are we actually chasing after Kido? There's no way, yeah. Go. Wait, did he just? What the fuck? He suddenly went for a speed boost. Just a guy looking for answers. Come on, kid. I need your help. Fine, whatever. Just let me catch my breath. You're the one that decided to run. Some heavy shit. You're telling me. I mean, my own clan's after me now. How about Arai san? No sign of him yet? Nope. Hard to find him with those Shibata thugs on my ass. Akiyama san can't help on this one. It's a goddamn nightmare, man. Akiyama, the money lender, he okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. The police have Sky Finance under 24 hour watch. She about that can't risk messing with him for now. Fun as shit. You okay, man? You look like you're gonna puke. I'm fine. Anyway, good thing the cops are watching him. So wait, what the hell is this Sasai family you keep talking about? The family run by Hideki Sasai. Were we are third tier group part of Tojo clan. At least we were 25 years ago, no shit. Just like Kanemura Enterprises. Back then, the Sasai and Shibata families were rivals despite being Tojo. Our parent family? Sasai san and Shibata were both looking to climb the ladder. Good old power struggle between rival families, huh? I was ready to do whatever it took. Anything to get my patriarch to the top spot in the clan. Three to the hit. Hit? Murder. I took out Yoshiharu Ueno and the other Ueno, Suaya's brass, who were jokeying with the Tokyo clan. Gunned them down in a ramen's joint. You mean that hit? You heard of it? Yeah, that was me. Hold on a second, Pops. That's the shooting where one dude took out 18 people, isn't it? You're a living legend. I ain't nothing legendary about pointing a gun and pulling the trigger. All I cared about was making sure my patri uh, patriarch rose through the rank, even if hung for it. The surprise thing was my time never came, at least not yet. If you got, if you're a, that means you busted out? Yep, just the other day. I down, kid. Relax. Just want to know the truth. See, with my own two eyes, before I bite the dust. Truth about what? Whether my boss really just up and vanished? Whether my bro Majima really did stab me in the back, so what do you say? Think you can help out? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone, man. This shit's way out of my freaking league. I mean, you're the legendary Taige Sajima. There's no way I can help you. Come well, on, man. I'm a nobody. Practically still street punk. Hell, I've got my own family on my ass. You think you're asking me to help you? That's crazy talk. I ain't expecting much. Just need an introduction. To whom? Someone who knows what went down in Kamarucho back in 85. Someone who knows the truth. You said you were looking for the real story. Any ideas? There's a guy who can help. He'll definitely have the info you're looking for. Who? An information broker. Best of the best. Let's get out of here before the comps come by and start asking questions. And who knows when those Shibata assholes will show up again. Follow me, there's a place I go. I need to lay low. You got a hideout? Yeah, come on. Head to the hideout. Come on, this way. Right 
Right down this hallway, almost there. Said, huh? It's a long story, but let's say the last tenants here moved out in a hurry, so I've helped myself to the space. A lot of homeless folk around. It's kind of their turf where we are the squatters down here. Now I have access to a hideout. You can save your game, move items to an item box, reminisce about past events. Theater underground office. Oh yeah, let me tell you what I know about that informant. I'm all ears. They say he keeps tabs on everything that happens in Camarucho, past and present. I don't know who the guy is or how he knows what he knows. But word on the street is there's not much he doesn't. Or how much of it's just a rumor. Just telling you what I've overheard. Apparently he pays homeless people to gather his intel. You might have the best luck asking them about him. I almost forgot, forgot about what. The streets are practically calling, crawling with cops today. Better watch yourself out there. All right. Ah, side quests are s engaged. Something, something. Here, kitty. Get some fish for you. And some beer, huh? Darn. Just won't warm up to me. You guys aren't seeing cat's eye to uh, cat's eye with them. Watch and learn. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's all. My old cat Miko was. Always come right up to me when I did that. They won't let us touch them. They can't check their injuries and we can't fix them up. Hmm? What are you looking at? Hey, take it easy, fellas. Say, pal, are you a cat lover? That's huh? You are? That's great. Can you do something about these cats? Oh, there. Didn't say I was a cat lover. It's okay, anyway. We just found these little guys. But, they're... but unfortunately, they're not letting any of us touch him. Yeah, but they look like they're hurt. We only want to patch them off if we can. Must be fate, you showing up like this. Could you try taming these little fellas? Yeah, please. If we don't act fast, they'll get weaker and weaker. Your only hopes and theirs. Tame a bunch of cats, huh? Why the hell not? Let's all see what I can do. Great, we're counting on you. No fella really giving me what for. Now what do I do? Yeah, like a kitten, bark like a puppy, cry like a girl. Thing wouldn't even give me the time of day. They're doing too good. Gotta get some nutrition sent to these little guys. Oh, drink patch them right up. Hate to ask, but could you buy these kittens something you think they like? Suppose I can't back that out now. I'll get them something real nutritious, like fuck, I don't know. Offer lost cat some milk. Wait here. You got you gotta offer lost cat some milk. I'll go pick some up. That kid stole my cash. Found thousand yen on the underground in the underground mall. A whole thousand. Whoa, it's damn near fortune. I know, right? Suddenly, while I wasn't looking, this little kid, little shit, came up and when he was gone, you lost your cash taking a shit. I mean, a pin-sized pickpocket at the underground mall. There was freaking about what I'd do if anyone tried to mug me when a kid ran up and snatched it away. You're fast, right? Go catch that thief for me. Catch him and teach him a lesson. Gotta say, the only Lesson that needs learning here is for you to hold onto your shit better. Let go. Well, that's just cold. I hope he goes after you next. Little kid picking pockets in the underground mall. Sounds like a shitstorm waiting to happen. Oh well.
homeless guy, Sajima. Maybe I could ask him about the info dealer. Excuse me, was wondering if I could ask you something. Hey, you... Come over here. What happened? We'll talk later, just follow me. Jesus Christ, shit escalates fast. Your horses, old man. Where the hell are you heading in such a hurry? It's the master. He's gonna die if we don't do something. The master? The master? Yeah, he's a famous old man around these parts. Been digging a hole down in the sewers for ages now. Enough chit chat. We gotta hurry. Said and done, old man. How am I supposed to get through manhole? You got a special tool opening manhole covers, but you're bigger than a buffalo, so probably don't even need it. Anyways, we gotta hurry. Come on. Bigger than a buffalo. Oh. Over there. Enough bull, old man. It's time you told us the truth. We don't like to get rough with frilled geezers, so do us a favor and start talking. Can't let you go any further. All these years of hard work would have been for nothing. You know you're hiding tons of buried treasure back there. That's why you keep digging like this since the Stone Age. There ain't no buried treasure. Now get the hell out of here. It's no fair if you hog all that money to yourself. Share the loot, why don't you, Grandpa? Come on, this is taking too long. If you're not gonna move, then we'll just have to move you. you look like a pretty strong guy. Please get rid of those hooligans and save the master. I'll talk to him. Really? Thank you, sir. Listen, Gramps, tell us what we want to know, or it ain't the retirement home you're heading for. Got it? Wait right there. You kids having fun picking on senior citizens. Ain't you supposed to care for the elderly? Who the fuck are you? Huh? One of this guy's homeless friends? No matter. Just let this whole thing go and get lost. So you're after the loot too? You think we don't know what's up? Give me a break already. Kids these days don't know when to listen. Enough talk. We're gonna flow boat your geriatric or float both. I can't read. It's impossible. I wrote red boat instead of both, didn't I? Yeah. Hell's this guy, some sort of monster or something? Damn it, this ain't the last you heard of us, old man. Street punks and their cowardly lanes never change. You saved my life, thank you. Thanks to this guy. Not me, he's the one that was doing all the worrying. Master, you okay? Did they hurt you? It's you. Yeah, I'm alright. Thank goodness, I was scared out of my mind. I owe you, sir. You really are something. By the way, what was your name again? Seijima. People call me Kenchan. And this here is the Master. I didn't come up with that nickname, but call me whatever you want. So, why were those punks after you anyway? Been down here looking for certain something, something important. But then those hoodlums showed up spouting monsters about buried treasure and the like. Something important? Yeah. Ain't even sure what it is exactly. My father only told me about it on his deathbed. 
said he burned something important beneath the streets of Kamarucha. I see. He told me the general location, but we got more sewers and new fangled underground malls cropping up every day. It makes things hard to find. So, you mean he buried whatever it is before all this was built? Exactly. I reckon during the war. Whoa. It's a long time ago. So, how many years have you been digging? Well, I worked for my father, but it's when I was 50, so I reckon maybe 25 years, give or take a few. 25 years. Master, this guy's pretty strong. How about asking him for help to dig? How would I do that? You've been saying you hurt your, your back hurts, right? You're not getting any younger. Oh, shut your trap. I still got it in me. You don't have to be hard-headed. Sejima-san, will you help the master dig, please? You've really been digging this hole for 25 years, pretty much. Well, I'll help whenever I got the time. Serious? Kid. You ain't even involved. Might not even be anything in it for you, either. Consider it karma. Plus, I haven't had a good workout since coming to Kamarucho. Don't worry about it. Perfect. You just might find what you're looking for before you pass on, Master. Well, you quit talking about me dying already, jeez. Saejima, was it? I may talk a lot, but I can't stop the years from pilling on. Honestly, this old man be really happy if you land a hand, even if it's only for a little. Got it. I'll come by when I can help. There ain't much of a reward, I guess, but do you know about revelations? Revelations? Yep, revelations allow you to learn new techniques by observing various events around town. Might just be able to discover something new if you capture those decisive moments. Mm, might as well go do that. R4. Ground parking lots and go mid-south part. Don't have a camera. Never been much, much good with machines anyway. Same here. Couldn't afford it either. That's why I use these babies. A hammer and chisel? I'll give you a good carving wood too. Use that. It's their hammer and chisel and carve the events you see. Ask Kenchan about what's going on above the ground. He may have some good information. Okay, so what is this supposed to be? This underground thingy. How do I help? Can I just step in? I want to start punching walls. <laughs> that would have been fun if I just start punching the wall, right? Yeah. To her path. You're gonna need to use a pickaxe to whack your way through the rock here. I think I had a big one lying around here somewhere. Should be the perfect size for you. You wanna make it into a real workout? How about trying to finish in one minute? Charge up before swinging the pickaxe to crush the rock face in a single blow. You'd rather take your time though, be my guest. You ready? Never actually told me how to do this though. Charge. Come on. And one regular. Come on. 500 experience points. Did I barely do it under in one minute? I can't believe a place like this exists on a Camarucho. What is it? It's so big? I think it's an air raid shelter. Air raid shelter? Yeah, used during the war, I reckoned. I'm sure it got a good deal of historical value too, being in such a good shape and all. Is that certain something your old man 
Uh, is that certain something of your old man down here? Nah. Should be a tad deeper according to what he said. Hey, look at that. What now? A sign. It says this place is called Air Raid Shelter Number One. And just beyond these rocks here is Air Sh Raid Shelter Number Two. Well, we ain't got no uh, no other clues to go on. Let's just try digging here. Hmm? Something on the ground. Looks like a book of the art of war. It's full of different fighting techniques. Hold on. Some incredible stuff. I bet I could use this move here. Looks like you got your reward after all. Wish I could pay you properly, though. You know, with money and all. Nah, don't need money. Found something just as good. Better even. Plus, got a pretty good workout. Thanks, old man. Wind up top. Come back whenever you can. I'll see you to the entrance. That is cute. I like this. Do I talk to this guy? Okay, revelations. Blah, blah, blah. We got all the revelation locations here. Really something I have to worry about. Someone fishing down here? Top of the stairs. Talk to some of these people here. Hey there, buddy. Not too often I see guys like you down in a place like this. I guess you're concerned about the slower deterioration of our natural environment, so you've come to me, the expert on all things grass and green. Actually, I... Relax, big guy. I will bite. But I will drop a big old knowledge bomb on you. You know how much trash gets collected in Camarucho in a year? 22 ton... 22,000 tons. 6 tons every single day. That's as much as two humpback whales every day. And that doesn't include the litter strewn around town that nobody bothers to pick up, which, trust me, is a lot. So I've devoted my life to making this city as clean as possible. Yes, and what's any of this got to do with me? Oh, right. Around here they call me the mean green machine. No matter how high the trash stack, I'll always be there to whisk it away. Speaking of trash, has something of special value down here in the underground. What do you mean, value? You heard me. Down here, trash makes the world go around. Ditch your cash, bring me some trash. I'll praise whatever bits of trash you give me, and give you appropriate number of points. Points are like our money, mind you. Here, take this. You got an Echo Points. With points, you can buy all sorts of stuff. Items, food, equipment. Though, of course, this only applies to the shops we run down in these here sewers. And keep in mind, any trash you got is worthless until I get my hands on it. Don't worry, I won't rip you off or nothing. One more thing. Just cause you nab a piece of trash, that doesn't mean it's gone forever. Someone's bound to litter again in the same spot if you wait long enough. Anyway. <clears throat> why don't you start with that little speck of smut over there? I'll bring... Just bring it over to me. Metal garbage. Thanks for stopping by. Can I trash for you? Praise trash. Two hundred and fifty points. Back when you got your hands on some more trash, and don't forget to have a clean day. Oh, he's not gonna continue the thing. What's in the green store, though? Oh shit! This guy got some good shit down here, mate. That's kind of dope. More you guys. There's a key in the middle of everything. Kamarucho Central Parking Lot. Oh, haven't asked about the info dealer yet. Just ask any of the random guys here. You're looking for the underworld's top informants? Sure am. 
Well, there are plenty of rumors circulating about him, yet the man himself is hard to pin down. But he does have a number of homeless folk on his payroll. They collect intel and such. Never met the guy, but I'd sure like to sometime. For the city's biggest info dealer, the florist, right? If that's his name. So what his clients call him. Anyway, it's because the info he sells gets delivered inside flower bouquets. It's really romantic. So how's a guy meet this florist? The thing is, no one really knows what with all the crazy stuff that's been happening around here the past few years. It's like every time a major crisis hits the city, he uproots his own headquarters and relocates. Any idea where he's planted himself now? Don't know for sure. There's a rumor going around. I'm listening. I heard you can get his hideout through the back of the public restroom at West Park. I mean the John at the end of the town? That's the one. Let's start at West Park, if I were you. Wait, he's still located at West Park? Okay. Interesting. Well, at least now I have a reason to pick up all the trash. <laughs> Mystery meat. Uh, I have to eat everything here at some point anyways. Thanks for coming, stop by anytime, soft garbage. Key. Okay. See the florist. Okay, first we go here. He's crazy drunk, way too drunk. This guy. Choose the momentum helped him land a big hit. This guy is drunk as fuck. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way that worked. Momentum helped him land a big hit. Oh, there's no way. He's actually that's super sick. That is super fire. Okay, uh, I need to buy some milk. This one doesn't have milk. <sighs> Gotta go through all the stores. <sighs> uh, 
Okay, so most of the quests are on the underground hoarding. So I guess I gotta try a little bit harder. But that's fine. We'll go slowly but steady. Okay, did this one have milk? Didn't pay that much attention. Rubber hose, soup. Dog food. Ah, yes, milk. Let me just bring two, just in case. Okay, that's one. Now we go to the docks. Our side quest here. Hmm. Let's see a shooting star, though. This scene is fantastic. <laughs> Doesn't take a picture. No, no, no. He just carves it out of wood. Learned the essence of heavy weapons. Let's talk to this guy. Put an end to it all. Hey, what's with all the doom and gloom? Gloom and doom. Please just leave me alone. I'll be killed soon enough anyway. Don't look like a guy who lives dangerously. But I ain't to judge a tiger by its stripes. See me. Appreciate your concern. You see, I work at a jewelry shop, or I used to. Until I got robbed the other day. These hardcore dudes came in, pointed their guns at me, and said, Hand over the jewels if you want to live. Of course I wanted to live, so I handed over the jewels. Did I ever? I opened all the display cases. My manager goes ballistic, so now he runs over, sticks a knife to my throat, and guess what he says? Get back the jewels if you want to live. Pretty sure the shop was just a front for the Yakuza. I saw murder in my manager's eyes. I can tell you that. I filled all uh, police reports and even did some investigating thing off my own. Found out the getaway car was seen headed for these docks. But nobody's seen anything and now I'm stuck on a wild goose chase. And if I did find guys, they probably just killed me on the spot. It's too depressing to think about it. So I figured I should just get it over with and die on my own terms. Poor guy getting caught up in a bunch of Yakuza bullshit. Listen buddy, uh, if you're capable of offing yourself, I'd say you're capable of damn near anything. Instead of giving up the ghosts, try digging in your heels. Even if you can't do much on your own, you ought to be able to hire a private eye or something. You know what? You're right. I guess I've been feeling guilty about not putting up a fight. But I think I'll keep at it and try to find those jewels. So I stop feeling so depressed that is. Alright, good luck. It's got balls. For a shiv for a civvy. There's jewel thieves on the run around here, huh? I wanna see what I can find. What you can find?
Well, that fucker is pretty dead. Doing some fishing around here, pal? Yeah, more or less. Well, if you really want to reel in a good haul, you're better off trying different spots. Why is that? I do my share of fishing here myself, but they just aren't biting like they used to. Formed up reeling in more junk than fish. It's a better fishing spot a little while uh, ways away. Be happy to show you where. Nah, I'm good. Be able to catch plenty for one fella. How about you? Why are you fishing here? If it's so crappy. Truth be told, I'm not really in it for the fish. I just like the view. It's the journey that matters to me. Not the destination. That's so. And I guess the two of us anglers can suck it up and enjoy the ride. <laughs> yep, you got that right. At least the docks is a little bit more explorable than before. It's a little bit, not that much. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. Copy of the Fish Champ magazine. Let's go fishing! No, I don't have bait. Can I get some bait from him? He's not giving me bait. Valuables. Can I get uh, bait from this guy? Buy bait. Oh, I can sell fish to this guy. Interesting. I don't have that much money, so... Let's just make, like, what? A figure out a way to get money at some point. Go fishing. Select your bait and decide where to cast your line. Each type of bait has different range of effects, and the fish won't bite if you use the wrong bait. Items in your possession that can be used as bait will be shown as a list. Fish button. Quickly press X to reel in. To the tension gauge. Oh, I haven't done any fishing in three either. Snap your line. Tilt the left stick. Left and right following the movement of the fish. Tilt it up and down to raise or lower the pole. If you control the line tension and completely reel in, you will be successful in catching the fish. And go fishing, I guess. Give real slack. I don't know what that means, honestly. Twenty two meters. <laughs> Miss. Didn't even get the chance to reel it in. How did it work again? Reel in R1. Okay. Holy shit, that's a little bit too far.
Got him. Congratulations! You caught a shrimp. Or prawn, whatever it's called. Not some trash! <laughs> you got a steel drum barrel. Uh, something is better than nothing, right? the briefcase with all the jewelry in it now are we instantly stopping because I got that damn this one heavy briefcase so you finally found it hell it's important property that belongs to my family now how about you just hand it over I get it now you were just pretending to go fishing while you kept an eye on the place yep about a dual heist not too long ago Never thought they'd hide goods on the water, and I never thought you'd figure it all that out. I hate to do this to a fellow angler, but I'll have to send you to sleep with the fishes. Oh, well, this guy is uh, pretty tough. Or if I can even beat him. Ah, oh, he's easy. There's no key to you, Kazuma. That's for sure. Very swathe of them. Items. Kicked right in the cojones. Or are you anyway? You're no ordinary civilian, that's for sure. Yeah, well, I used to be in the business. Know that outsiders like you shouldn't get mixed up in family feuds, now hand over the case. Hey, I'm all for keeping to my goddamn self for a change. But when you drag in Sivy into this, you fucked up. I can't give him back till I set things right for him. You regret that, you son of a bitch. You again say I heard the commotion earlier. Did something happen? If you been ha been looking up s instead of down at your feet, you would have seen the fight going around around you. Anyway, I found what you've been looking for. You were in a fight. Wait a sec. You found them seriously? Yeah, they were taking a little dip in the ocean. Thank you very much. Now my manager won't kill me. 
Usselbeck then. Never know when those thieves are gonna come back for him. Good idea. I'm heading straight to the shop now. Your manager might give you a pat on the back now, but you really ought to quit that place. You think so? I don't know. Quitting a sketchy job in this recession? The highest was cost uh, of a squabble between your shop's Yakuza and a rival family. You'll be helping your manager f save face, but look at it from the other guy's point of view. They lost to Civi. They're spitting mad, and they know where to find you. Get out now before you get dragged into more shit if you got the guts to do the right thing even when your life's on the line. You'll be fine wherever you go. But if you want to step into a Yakuza world where it kills or where it's kill or be killed, ain't gonna stop you. Ah, I think I'm cut out for that. I just drop this off and move it with my move him with my parents in the country. Really appreciate your advice. Please accept this with my gratitude for all your help. Thanks again. My day, Yakuza didn't fuck with innocent civilians. Maybe I just didn't see what was going on around me. Me at least waste all the fucking stuff that I uh, picked up. I don't want to drag it along. Go fishing. I have four bait left. Congratulations! Another prom. See if I attempt to go for a little bit further ahead. Not like it matters. Damn it. <laughs> he was so close. I can't tell where the fuck he's going with it anyways. Like, I'm just trying something. Maybe I shouldn't go fishing in the uh, in the dark. At least the game does a very bad job at, like, showing where to go. Which way to pull.
You called a squid! Or whatever it's called. Oh, it is a squid. Cool. <laughs> okay, last one. It's getting dark in my room. Probably need to turn on some lights. Oh crap, you can't let it go too low either. I should have realized that actually, but we're done. Got everything I wanted. Ooh, I'm seeing blue dolts. Selfish. Well, that's one side quest done. back. Okay, now we're here. There are two things we need to do there, here. A side quest. Sorry. Get back here. Huh? Need to go there anyways. For this one. Just land straight into a wall. He sounds like such a badass. <laughs> right into a wall. <laughs> Slim straight into the wall.
Wait, there's actual cap down here? Interesting. There he is. Three, four, five. That big guy sure was slim pickings. We'll be taking back the cash still, kid. What the? Hey, can you prove this money is yours? Easy. Now, didn't your old man ever teach you not to take what don't belong to you? Shut up, my dad's gone. Come here for a sec. So what's your name? Tadashi. Tadashi Inoue. Tadashi. What's a kid like you doing in a place like this? What happened to your folks? My mom and dad died in a car crash two years ago. So you're all in your room? No. I have a sister. My big sister, Akiko. See, but you don't live with her? She, debt collector, took her away from my from my dad's debts. The man called her collateral. Mom, after mom and dad died, we were supposed to go to an orphanage, but they said... As long as we still have relatives, we couldn't. So me and my sister went to live with my uncle's family in the country. How did your sister get taken away? My uncle might have been a relative, but he's no family. He and his wife sold Akiko to the debt collector. Wait, what? Last year, this man named Tado Kordo came up from Tokyo. He told us to pay back the 5 million that owed. He said if we didn't have enough money, then there he'd take my sister for security. Your uncle just handed her over. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the lights. Your beat and take your room. Kiko said she didn't want to be a burden to my uncle's family anymore. And so you came all the way here to Kamarucho, hoping to set your sister free. Yeah, saving up my money and then... Gotcha. You know, I've got a sister of my own. Not a big sister like you have. A little sis. Yeah. Name's Yasuko. She was such a sweet kid. We drifted apart, though. You don't ever see her now? Yeah, well, I've been through some stuff myself. What's the sister of yours like? She is, uh... Precautious brat like you. <laughs> My sister's not a brat. She's brave and kind. She looked after me after our parents died. She's the best big sis ever. And she's the only real family I've got left. Left. You've come a long way, boy. Fought hard on your own. But you need money to get your sister back, yeah? That collector said I can either pay back the 5 million yen, or I can do whatever jobs he tells me to. Why, well, you've been picking pockets. Just a kid, nobody will hire me. Besides, I can do the kind of work he wants me to do. I'm not telling you to stop picking pockets, but I take you forever on the day to filch that much money. I know. Just gotta make sure if your sister is important to you. Of course, more than anything, I won't give up until I know she's okay. My folks died when I was a kid too. My sister Yasuko meant the world, whole world to me. Wasn't nothing I wouldn't do to keep her safe. And I was still a kid. There came a time I was hauled in by the police, beat up by punks. I had to live miles and miles away from her. Big guy like you? You look so strong. I said I was a boy. Didn't know what strength was. But you know, somebody stepped in and helped me and my sis. Thanks to him, me and Yasuko got to live together again. You might say he's the very reason I'm standing here today. And when I tried to thank him, he said, save your thanks, just grow up to be kind of a person who doesn't look away from someone in trouble, but who extends a helping hand, like a nice man. He is, was. I owe him big. That's why I'm gonna help your sister, Tadashi. I'm ready to go up to bed for you. Really? You mean it? Take me to this debt collector. Me and him, we're gonna have a little talk. Yeah, big guy. Right, Sasai son, time to take what you taught me and pay it for to this kid.
good look at who you're talking to, Gramps. Yes, Stutter, I ain't here to talk to Chump Change. Now move out of the way if you don't want to get hurt. Who you calling Chump? Dare screw with us, asswipe. You won't be calling us shit after we kick your teeth in. You mean after I kick your teeth in. Get out of my way! This room is too small. already out of heat. Don't have that much left, it's just kinda annoying. It hurts. Told you so. Why are you chumps ever gonna listen? You must be Tadokoro. Yes, I am. What can I help you with today? I'd like to have a chat with you about this boy here. So this is what you call chats. Did your parents raise you to be people bloody whenever you want to talk? Yeah, pretty much. They taught me that rude ass sub bit some bitches deserve whatever they've got coming to them. See, I would ask you to please refrain from such behavior in the future. That all depends on your attitude. So what exactly is that what you brought you here today? You know this kid, yeah? I didn't recognize him through all the prime, but it's Tadashi, the boy, so fond of his sister. It's been six months. You raised the money? No, not yet. Why are you here? I'll be settling that debt from now on. You deal with me. With you? I don't believe he has any relatives in the country. Apart from his uncle's family, what is your relationship with the boy? We're perfect strangers. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary, I'm impressed. There aren't many people like you in this day and age. Good. No problems then. No, no problems. However, my agreement with Tadashi stipulated that he would get his sister back by either paying back the five million or doing jobs. I sign him. If you're going to be taking over his debt, though, well, that's a different story. What do you mean? I won't simply take five million from you in cash, no. I'll have you work it off. Either way, it works for me. I do whatever gig you throw at me and you give back Tadashi's sister. Is that a deal? Oh, but it won't just be one job. You'll continue taking assignments until you've earned back every last yen. I'm telling you, that's fine by me. So quit beating around the bush and start giving me jobs I can make some money on. 
very well, although some you, mm, you might more lucrative jobs. You do that. Well, thank you for stepping up to this. I'll contact you once I have a job lined up. Oh, didn't catch your name. Name is Suzuki. Suzuki-san, is it? All right, then. I look forward to working with you, Suzuki-san. Feeling is mutual, but I'll deliver. In return, you better keep that promise you made to Tadashi. Because otherwise, I'm beating the fucking shit out of your bonehead. I'm pretty sure by job he means really bad stuff. It's alright. I used to be a pretty bad guy myself. Oh. Now, I want you to remember this, Tadashi. There's nothing bad in the world. In the world, except turning your back on someone in need. My boss taught me that, and that's why I'm going to help you. Catch my drift? Thanks, big guy. Thank me when you and your sister are back together. Come on, let's head home. But I... You've got no place to go, right? Now stay at my hideout. We've got plenty of room for you. Okay. Just let me get my stuff first. Go on ahead. I'll see you there. Hmm? All right. Come home before it gets too late now. Will. Oh yeah, here. I found something for you. A chance stone. Much obliged, kid. What the fuck is a chance stone? Is the equipment? I went level up. Can buy two new abilities. Ah, okay. I need to stash that. Okay, um, we did that, that, and that. Way too many side quests. Is that stupid police officer still standing in my way there? Actually running after me? Actually. Let's go in here. I need to eat something. Get some HP back. Eat here. We almost have this area completed as well, so... Or this uh, store. We can start going to a different one. Arigato gozaimashita. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. It's the same one, I guess, right? Revelation. She kicked clean through his guard. It's exactly the same one. That's kind of lame. Talk about a fucking action movie, mate. She kicked right through his guard. Okay, that's all those done.
Okay. Too much shit going on. Camaro Theater. Uh, map. There's a quest right here. No, not right here. Oh well. Let's move on. What is down here anyway? Theater. place is confusing. still space here. Oh, wait, there's this guy. Okay, we're not fucking with you right now. You, on the other hand. Mm -hmm. The IF-7. Tiger striped cat pendant. Looks like it's open too, huh? Something's inside. Note. Below the theater, wood grain floor. Me too? Like cat pendant. Note inside too. Bone poster. Four green X's. Check the wall. Hey, did they give you some kind of treasure? No, nah, nothing like that. Let me see. Whoa, we might really hit the jackpot. I thought they were just a couple of flea-biting cats. Maybe they're the geese that laid the golden eggs. He's the reason these fellows are so friendly now. Don't think... Then listen to him, pal. Go on and take those pendants. Unternation? Darn fool! I have to admit he does have a point. Sure what's going on here, but do what you want me to follow these directions. Wow! I seem to like you just fine now. You can't take him, so treat him good, all right? You bet. Mm. We are on B floor one. Now we're on B floor two. Wood grain floor, bone poster, four greens, X. Spot the cat's notes we're talking about. Supposed to check the wall in it. Two big circles on the ceiling. Check the lights on the fire hydrant box. Don't know why I walk all the way back. 
could have taken the stairs on the south side. Probably. There. A room with two picture frames. Check the bookshelf. Running in the wrong direction again. <sighs> always the same, always the same. Southeast. That's not what I was looking for. This bookcase. Why don't I take that off your hands? You're tailing me all this time? Oh no, you don't have to put it like that. You too. We did rescue those casts after all. It's only natural to expect a little good karma. Ah! You just want your hands on the treasure, same as us. Hand over that key already. to break it for it to work. Could have gone a little easier on us, you know. Hey, pal! What are you guys doing here? Bah, what a hypocrite. You're after the treasure too, aren't you? What treasure? Is this about the notes? You too seriously trying to mug our friend here? And does belong to the cats you saved. I can see why you're interested. So how about we open it right now together? You sure about the spell? Hey, won't be sad. They won't be satisfied till they see what's inside. Give me a sec. Stuffed toy. A what? That's impossible. Is that the best lie you could come up with? You're bullshitting us, trying to keep the real treasure to yourself. Damn it. Lie and see for yourself. Let me see. Huh. At least a stuffed toy. Still, you must be keeping something from us. A thing. Besides, I ain't had a chance to hide e anything. Monumental waste of time. You don't want it? Junk's worth squat. If I knew that was the treasure, I would have stayed put and just kept drinking. Too bad. We really thought we were onto something big. This plush was meant for the cats. Who knows? Maybe. Why would anyone go through such trouble to hide a toy, huh? What? Saw the plush twinkle. Wow. Just to have a look. What's this? Hey, isn't this a key? For one of the lockers in the underground mall? Looks that way. Where, where the real treasure is, huh? Great news, huh, pal? You don't want it? Just having these three handers and boys around is all I need. Isn't that right? But I do have a favor to ask you. Would you mind naming them for me? Name them. They're, you're the reason they're alive. I'm sure they'll be honored. Come on, please. What should, what's a good name for a cat? Okay. We're gonna put my name forever in this game's... The orange cat is now 
Jordy and the white cat is now Mew to name it after my old white cat. If you ever want to see them, just come by the theater and ground. I'm sure they love it when you. <coughs> Gotta make a little house for these little fine lads. Promise you'll come by and see them. Of course. I can go further down. Should probably go check further down. But first, let's go inside and stash away some of my junk. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so let's see if we can go much further down. there's anything worth down here. Side quest. Suit headman, henchman, come on, give us back what you stole already. Uh-oh, Femme Fatale. Don't think about trying to run. Hey, what are you doing? None of your business. What is it to you anyway? Get lost. Man, suit this does and uh, this don't look too gentlemanly. Please help me. So fast. You, I thought I told you to get lost. No. It's clear as a kappa you're up to something sh some shady shit. Which isn't your problem, so beat it already. When someone asks me for help, it becomes my problem, especially when they're surrounded by a bunch of suits. Great. We've got as a wannabe hero. Look, this is one damsel in the stars you don't want to save. Meddle in our business and there will be real consequences. Is that a threat? No, it's a promise. Playing hero for some woman you've never even met will get you killed. Hey, dumbass, hello in there. I guess you're ignoring my warning. Guess I am. You've painted us into a corner. Try not to get your blood on my suit. Sure, not my blood, but your buddy's blood. Didn't say anything about that. I just got that dry cleaned. Your bark sure is worse than your bite. Thank you, my name's Saori, and you are? Uh, Suzuki. Thank you, Suzuki-san. Lucky me in getting saved by such a manly hero. Bless Shivler really isn't that. What's up with these suits, anyway? Yepping about you stealing from them. That's not important. Speaking of your heroism, I wonder if I could ask you for one more teasy little favor. Would you take the CD to roll to a man waiting in the subway tunnel? Bring me the briefcase he hands off to you. Sarah. That's what you stole? Er, uh, yes. Shiny plate got some kind of value or what? You can imagine. It's what's inside that counts. Yeah, don't get it. 
You don't have to believe me to help me. Come say to you too. You do this for me? Lady in trouble and stepped in to help. That's it. I don't want nothing to do with your CD and ROM schemes. Do what you like, but if you ask me, this kind of business is way too risky for a woman. Now you're being sexist. Seems I can't persuade you then. Seems that way. Fine. Go by myself, alone. But please, if anything happens to me... Never mind. Alright, I suppose this is it. Farewell. Sada bada. Hmm. And there's a key here. Running woman up out of the theater underground and up the stairs into the theater square. Over there, and then head east into Pink Alley. Okay. So many side quests, so little time. Always do I always do this. Put a shit ton of time into side quests. Avenue. You, you're the one who helped the woman escape. What well, gives? Where'd she go? You'll tell us all right, even if we have to beat it out of you. Shady man. Uh, excuse me? He wants. I work as an account a scout for Shine, a host club on Pink Street. Now that made a damn lick of sense. Let's walk it back. Start over scout, yeah. Uh, a scout, uh, like a doorman, I guess. Should have said so in the first place. So, what's going on? You know those men in black you just fought off? There are some lurking around the club, too. And I was just wondering if you happen to know who they are. Sorry. Oh, alright. I suppose I'll have to alert the police then. Those troops hanging around, our guests don't feel safe. We're just losing business and fast. It's fine though. You don't know. You don't know. Thanks anyways, and sorry to have bothered you. Kulabushain. Really gotta make some money. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh, 10k, that's nice. Encounter, welcome back, Lizzie. Shine is a little bit further down. You're right, yeah. Oops. Oopsie daisy! East into the pink alley. Defeat the guys and you'll chase them off. Lastly, head to the lame tower basement. Moto, moto, shkarada. Say who sucks? <sighs> Kiryu does that on the day off. Sejima. Yeah, Sejima is doo doo. Because he's slow. Very slow. Yeah, so? Oh, I can go down from here. Examine. A bust amulet. A ancient steel.
50,000 yen. Bloody binding. Magnetized metal. Gold plate. Titanium core ball. Titanium core ball, whatever. And super resin. What are you doing down here? Hey, yourself. If this money is for the cat's upkeep, should I give it to the guy? Give it to him. Great timing. Here you go. Where did this come from? It was in the locker. This is the treasure. There really was something in there. Figured it's to pay for the cat's room and board, so I'm giving it to you. What? You really don't have to do that. You're the one who's looking after these little guys. Go on, take it. Well, I just, I don't know how to thank you. I know. Wouldn't call it fair trade, but this is yours now. The cat's key. Kept it because it was so cute. But now that I have these fellas, I want you I want it to be yours. Called a souvenir. Souvenir! We're here. Ooh, we went level up again. Charging tackle. Okay, um... Do, 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 chocobo Tail! Welcome, thank you for the raid! The Chocobro raid. A pedals. <laughs> thank you for the follow, Chocobo Tail. Lunar Dreams, welcome. How are you guys doing? I brought some friends, I see. Battle say taco. <laughs> we don't want to say taco. Don't know what this is all about though. How are you guys? What were you guys playing? I was the stream. Oh, fuck you, old man. How is everybody doing? Yeah, me did the cutest say. Come to yo. Oh, I got flipped. Lunar Dreams, thank you very much for the follow. Joe played some sound of Voltex XC gear. What the fuck is that? Japanese rhythm. Wait, didn't. I think Hiko spoke about that game before. He would like the visuals. I bet I would, but I bet I would hate the game itself. Cause it's a rhythm game! Yahoo! Joe showed it. God damn it, you guys are distracting me. Blame! Blame everyone! Getting beat up by a bunch of punks. Uh, don't worry about it, Sage must fall. He sucks. Jordy hates rhythm games with absolute terror. Mostly because he's bad at it. Distraction! Pedals. Good to damn it! How many are dead? Stream went well, thank you. Glad to hear that that went well. Yeah, don't don't hear don't listen to me complain about uh, being bad at rhythm games. It's just something I'm not very good at. <laughs> oh, he better be. Cause he sucks in four. I had to fight Kiryu with him. It blew. It sucked. Um, is that a 
No, it's not. You know what? I'm uh, losing HP fast, so I'm gonna go and heal up. No, I don't want to go. I want to eat here. Small fries, smile fries, burger set, burger set. Nom 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 nom. Makes me hungry. I knew I should have just picked up something to snack on when I was in the store this morning. Slowly but steady. No, not here. Get out of my way, you bonehead. Down here. Here are the idiots. There she is. Guy wound up coming here after all. God, I'm a sucker for a long pair of legs. I brought it. We're all set on our end. Alright, let's make the exchange. First, let me see if it's the real deal. I'm exactly a trusting type, are you? Look just as seedy as the last. Alright, it looks authentic. Over the briefcase already. Sorry, we, we can do that. Buttholes! You double-crossing me? As long as we have the CD-ROM, we don't need you anymore. Besides, I'm sure you already burned a copy. That won't matter after you're neutralized. You won't never remember- you won't even remember your own name. Alright, show's over. Who are you? Don't matter who I am. She held up her end of the bargain. Now leave the briefcase and get out of here. Now that you've seen us, we can't just let you leave. Not with your memories intact anyway. Let's see how much your head trauma... How much head trauma it takes to neutralize you. Well, uh, he's got a... Kind of a bricky head, so... Uh, Probably a lot. Wonder why I couldn't do anything with Kiryu's move on um, Kiryu over there. Oh. Really hate when these guys gang up on me. Come on, get up. Saijima does have a very dope ass outfit, though. here. Thank you, Suzuki-san. Didn't even run. You got crits, I'll give you that. Figured I'd be fine with a strong manly hero like you. Alright, enough sweet talk. I'm in this deep, ain't I? Time to clue me in. Maybe so. It's all over and done with, so why not? I'll tell you everything. Okay, first things first. What is this CD thing? This 
you might call the secret ledger. It looks like paper to me. Where's the writing? What century are you from? Data that's used to be on paper. Once upon a time is now stored on CD-ROMs. The CD came from the office of influential from an influential politician. There's evidence of bribes, embezzlement, tax evasion. If this goes out, the scandal alone would ruin his career. Our suits are the politician's henchmen, yeah? These days they call themselves political assistants. They found out I'd stole the CD and struck a deal. I get it now, they wanted it back and were willing to pay. Now, I'm no journalist and I'm not particularly interested in social in seeing social justice served, but as long as it brings in money, well, tell me thievings what you do for a living full time. They call me the Blue Rose. I'm just a little bit famous in this industry anyway. Well, alright. I ain't about to rough up a woman now, lady thief or not. Huh, <laughs> really? Really, what kind of man would I be if I did? A rare one. Thanks, Ajima son. Hey, how'd you... It takes one to know one, especially with a reputation like yours. You'll need to find a better disguise, like I have. Here's the compensation I promised. A cheat item from a cheater! Ha! I bet we'll be seeing more of her. Hm. Now that's what I call Femme Fatale. Femme Fatale. Substory helper. Uh, okay. Both sides lead up, I guess. Oh, there's a random person just standing here. Hey, you feeling the soul too, man? I'm talking about the soul inside you. The more you use your soul, the better your skills, the closer you'll be to becoming a true soul brother. Soul orbs. For every level you gain, you'll get three soul orbs. Use soul orbs to unlock hidden powers in the ability by you. We've been doing this for, what, five, six chapters now already? Okay, back up we go. Uh, so there are quite a few sub-quests that I still need to do. But they're all over the place. I'm not really good at finding them. But let's go grab this one over here. Because we completed four now. <sighs> and look, sigh. I do have to be fair, I really do like Zero and the remakes gameplay a lot better than these two. That we've played so far. This doesn't feel that. great. Yeah, you'll just uh, do a freaking. Uh, Brian Fury attack right there. Oh. Stabbed in the back. Oi. Yamit Kurusai Konareo. But you're still standing as well. Nah, yay. Please stop hitting me. I ain't cut out to be the punching bag. Nah, that should be more. Who the fuck are they beating up over there? I'll go look in a bit. I usually sleep down there, but I stepped away for a hot minute and someone sealed it off. 
You need special tools to get it open that or be stronger than a bear. Can't believe I forgot my dang tools down there. Manholes. To get to locations while avoiding police detection, move along rooftops or through sewers. Saijima can open certain manholes and move through the underground. Use these secret paths to complete your objectives swiftly and secretly. Okay. I mean, I bet he has no other choice, but... Upstart Yakuza. You were a lost cause. I'm talking about coal part cash here. I've got no use for you without it. What the hell do you think you're doing? I don't take a genuine... A, I don't take a genius to figure out your two or Yakuza. Keep moving, asshole. It's none of your damn business. It is now. You got dozens of eyes on you out here, and none of them want to see you mess this guy up. Appreciate what you're trying to do, sir, but stay out of this, please. It really has nothing to do with you. I deserve everything that's coming to me. This guy can't be serious. I'm sorry, katagiri son I'll get the money as soon as I can. Just please, have mercy on me. Ugh. Way to go out, go and take all the fun out of this. Listen, Yuri, you still owe us half a million tributes. If you don't pay up quick, you're gonna be paying with your pinky. Got that? I don't. Don't know what you're talking about. Yuri Han, is it? What was that all about? Who are you? Don't matter, just an executor looking out for one of his own. Huh. You must have been pretty famous if you don't want me knowing your name. Look, just forget it, yeah? Now tell me, what was that punk beating you up for? It's actually kind of embarrassing. You see, Katagiri's son and I belong to a family with an office down at Takichi's Tekaichi Alley. I asked for more time to come up with my unpaid family tribute, but it seems to have rubbed him the wrong way. Katagiri, huh? Clearly you got a few years on him, not to mention boatloads more class. How how did a guy like that end up your boss? I'm older, yes, and I've spent at least a decade longer in the family, but Katagiri san is the patriarch's wonder boy. Him? You don't say. It's not surprising. Katagiri san rakes in by far the most cash for the family. It's, it's like cashing yen is all Yakuza can think about nowadays. Welcome to the twenty first century, friend. Organized crime is nothing more than a chess game with money as the ultimate prize. Old school fist hurls like me don't have a place in that intellectual stuff. More and more we're just weighing our families down. I don't believe that for a second. Why don't you just smack that sack around a bit? He'll change his tune. Not a chance. Katakiri san has helped my family grow almost exponentially. And besides, he's my superior. Regardless of how he got there, there's no finding that. Guess I can't argue with you there. Sorry for butting into your family matters. It's alright, and really, I do appreciate your concern. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go drum up some qua the quash. 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 Money, money, money. This world's even colder than I remember. Hmm. They said his family office down Takeichi Ally, right? Might be worth paying them a visit. Let's go pay them a visit. Tenkaichi alleyway Call me beachy smelly way Oh, fuck you police officers well, You guys are slow I do miss my sprint button No, I don't want to fight Already have to deal with the police, okay? Some random ass Yakuza. Ow. Ooh. 
Lee! With the bean! My dude, thank you very much for the raid. How are you doing? Ura! Hola! How are you doing, Lee? Shit, I'm sorry, that was a messed up way to pick a fight. I should have tried on you. Here, take this, okay? Uh, free stuff is always uh, good in my book. Especially if it's free food. Or drinks. And go in this one. Good, how are you? Yordi is Gucci. As Gucci can be. Holy shit, the gelato gives quite a lot. I actually thought I was just going to be able to clean out store in one go. What have you been playing, Lee? No, go away! Kuzume. This is Tank on a Supon Street. What are you guys doing? Is that guy puking while you... I don't know what I'm looking at. And Tenkaichi Street... Tenkaichi Alley. You idiots know I'm Yakuza, right? Mess with me and things are gonna get real ugly real fast. What, you think you're a hot shit just cause you're Yakuza? Those suits have been losing their muscle for years. You're not tough. You're just a rat. Now empty your pockets. <laughs> Don't hurt me, please. I was playing Raid Shadow. Oh my god. I hate that game. It sucks. It's a bad game. They're just doing very well at advertising. I think that the guy who was beating the crap out of Irihan, thinking. I think his name was Katagiri. They're sponsoring the stream this week, so I cannot say bad things, lol. Oh, really? They were sponsoring the stream? Nice! I would hella decline, though. I don't even care. I ain't a fan of the guy, but those punks are going too far. Wouldn't look good for Irihan if his boss got the stuff and beat out of him, either. Better step in. Playtime's over, kids. Huh? Who the hell are you? It's you. Just cause you're young doesn't mean you get free reign of the streets. Back in my day, the Yakuza would be the ones teaching you that lesson. I can give a shit, mean hats. Time change. Times change, get used to it. Guess nobody ever taught you the food chain in this town. The boss is king, under him the soldiers. Neath them the civilians, and hooligans your bottom of the damn heap. Spurs lecture, Gramps. And hey, try not to break a hip while we kick your ass. Oh yeah, she the knee in the face. Can't say any bad things. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What the shit? Who are you, man? Nobody worth caring about. But if you want to get strong like me, there ain't much better than a nice long strip in the slammer. You could use the discipline. Slammer? You mean prison? Look, just crime, kids. You don't know who you're messing with. Sir, yes, sir. Come on, boys. Let's roll. Should be ashamed letting yourself get run down by those punks. Spare me the lecture, man. Days of the Yakuza muscling guys around are long over. It's all about brains now. You're missing the point. Brawn or Bahrain's ain't what's important, it's respect. The whole damn thing goes down the drain once people start disrespecting you. Said it all you want, but whose money does the family run on? Mine. I'm not one of those fools who blind, who's blinded by strength. Who are you talking about? There's thugs from before. You. Especially Eerie. Street fights won't keep the lights on. 
or the water running, or the rent paid. He got it all backwards. A Yakuza who can defend his family, nothing more than that way. Money is important, yeah, but while you're busy poring over your spreadsheets, the muscle out there keeping your office safe. Don't you get it? A Yakuza too weak to protect his own ain't no better than those bottom-feeding thugs from earlier. Hell, maybe even worse. <clears throat> And Irihan, that's exactly the kind of guy a Yakuza should strive to be. Throwing money around is fine and all, but if you want to really make it in the world, you gotta respect the people keeping you safe. You must realize that, right? All I ever wanted was to feel strong, and bossing around those who were was the only way I could do that. Would you remind me of something? I felt when I first met Iri. How was that? He was incredible. I'd never seen someone that strong before, and yet there I was, humiliating him in public. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry, be better. Now how about you go give Yurihan a hand collecting that tribute oh. money? Yeah. That's exactly what I'll do. Yuri. I can only hope he doesn't turn me down after what I did to him. He ain't that thick skulled. Besides, you're his boss. Just keep your chin up and you'll be fine. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thank you again for everything. Well, I can, but I don't hate it. It's a decent game to pass time for a mobile game. Hmm. I, I guess you're kind of right, but it's not my... Not my... Uh, kind of gig. Like, don't get me wrong, they do a very good job of making it free to play and for everyone accessible, but in the end of the night, it's still a pay-to-win game. And I just hate games like that. Like, don't get me wrong, I understand the model of the game. I understand why people play it and why people enjoy it. But, uh... It's just not my kind of game. Just give me a good single-player game. With no microtransactions and no... Grinding them gems for the next best character. It's just not my shit. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I swear, I'll never disrespect you, Yakuza, again, so long as I live. Just let me go. Fine. But I better never catch you near our turf again, understand? How was that, katagiri son? Perfect. Thanks for handling that, Yuri. Oh, Yurihan, how's it going? Hanging in there? More than just hanging, we're swinging. With a hand from Kadigiri san I figured out a plan to come up with that tribute money. He even gave me a few leads to get me in the right track, so yeah, I think I'll be just fine. Glad to hear it. You're telling me. Thanks to Ire, the family books are firmly in the black, so the first time for the first time in ages, I'll be up for promotion to Tojo HQ at this rate. And it's all because of Yurei. Good on you. Remember, the respect for, of your men's what really sets Yakuza apart. When you can only take you so far. I'll take that to heart. Thanks again. Gotta give you some, we should be going. Right. That's my cue. Those depths aren't gonna collect themselves. Haha. <laughs> anyway, this is a little something for your help. Hope it does you as much good as it did me. Bye now, Saejima-san. Saejima-san. And hey, thanks for everything. Been a little while since I was able to join. Uh, it's not been that long, right? 
I don't know, maybe I've just not been streaming enough. <laughs> Everything's been going fine. I've been drawing, studying, things like that. Learning how to animate. A couple of weeks, I think. Nah, it's not been that long. I stay out of people's stream way longer than that. You tell me the time to find, uh, to be in other people their streams. Cause I don't have that! <laughs> I'll be done after the brother and sister won. And you'll also have to advance the story to the point where... Okay, so I guess we've done everything then? Dragon Palace Bouncer, Sister 2, Speechless, Complete Mother and Child. Must complete Running Woman. All the way north of the lockers through the theater, and you'll find a guy in suit. Makiko, blah blah blah, okay. Nice catch is the ruby one, homeless man and cat's reason for revenge. Access after you try the door in West Park, okay. Cool. But yeah, in the past couple of weeks I have not really been streaming that much anyways. Just been uh, busy with life. Little bits and tats and dits and things. But all in all, everything's been... Gucci. Yeah, I don't think... Um... I complete the running woman. Yeah. Go to the hallway north of the lockers through the theater and you'll find a guy in suits with a job for you. I don't think I can do this one yet. Past the lockers, I guess we need to test the door. To unlock the rest of the side quests. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa. I'm walking on sunshine. Okay, feel good. Hey. All right now. What time is it? It's 22:30 already. Jesus Christ. Time's been, uh, moving slow. My bad. <laughs> At least close the door, mate. It's even one of those crouch toilets. Super hilarious. How to dig up dirt on that hotspot info broker everyone's yapping about. Yeah, this opens up a quest. <laughs> Looks like he dislocated his jaw. You can say that again. Fit an entire watermelon in there. Trying to feel good.
Oh, thank goodness. Just the man I've been looking for. Oh, Scratch, you got there. What happened? Some whacked out hoodlums are going completely berserk. They're too much for us to handle. Come on. All right. They're nothing but leeches on society. Parasites! Houses are for people. Worms crawl in the dirt. Eat dirt and die, worms. No, oh, my shelter. What did we ever do to you? Uh, why are you doing this? Give us a good reason. You want a reason? Alright, we're cleaning up the streets by getting rid of the garbage. We're just living our lives here. We're not bothering a soul. Not a soul, huh? What? Well, uh, Bloodsuckers like you bother us just by existing. Don't do something you'll regret now. Funny, I don't remember asking your opinion. Better watch your mouth, you crusty old asshole. At least I ain't too chicken shit to fight a man one on one. Why you? Guess it's time for somebody to get his ass kicked. Enough beating around the goddamn bush here, kids. Put your big boy pants on and bring it. <laughs> Put on your big four pants and bring it. Morimoto! Taken to Iguchi, the ringleader beat him and his slugs. Beat up in this one, Neil, and sub story. Get an um, umbrella, iron nail, and banker piece. Okay. You won't get away with this! Feel like I already did. You got me out of a real sticky situation. How can I ever thank you? It's just passing through. Don't thank me. Thank him. With your injury too, I'm truly grateful. There's nothing, Chief. All I did was bring this fellow by. You the boss around here? I'm flattered, but it's nothing so fancy as that. I've just been living here a long time, that's all. Must be rough for you. Any idea who those hooligans wanted? What these hooligans wanted? Uh, yes, about them. They started their raid several months back. Goddamn teenagers ganging up. Picking on old folk. What's this world come to? There might actually be more to it than that. Where do you get that? I thought they were just drugged up teens on a joyride too. That is, until now. Did you see how furious that young man was? I wonder if he has a reason to feel that way. Can be a good one. Oh, please excuse me. I didn't mean to get you all caught up in an old man's rambling. No sweat. All right, take care of yourself. I'll try. Thank you again. Oh my, what more shin that you? I mean, um... Domo arigato, Mr. Robato. Surprise, dipshit! Remember us? We told you you'd pay for siding with homeless filth. Now you'll get taken out with the rest of the trash. Let's try another one of your punk-ass remarks now, old man. You're way outnumbered. You better apologize before you really kick your ass. Already told you. Told us what? If you can't find a man one-on-one, -on -one, you ain't nothing but chicken shit. I heard that, ass clown. Really cruising for a bruise and now just get him already some of these guys have mustaches man right out of fucking uh mask aren't you
Level up. I'm gonna need stitches. Seijima-san. Seijima-san. Hey gang, what's up? I heard the commotion. Oh, it's them. Yeah, the guys from before. Ugh. It's that homeless worm! Excuse me, do you mind if I have a word with them? Don't get too close. What the crap are you looking at? Won't you tell me why? Are you really doing this just for the hell of it? The way you lashed out of this... Uh, you, the way you lashed out got me, well, it got me thinking there must be more to it. What's this really about? Hmm. We are the real victims here, just like Iguchi-san. Did this Iguchi put you up to all this? What happened to him? It's going nowhere fast. Just take me to this Iguchi guy. And why should we do a thing you say? Because you can take me to him like a good boy, or you can get another ass whoop in your choice. God damn it. Fine. Follow me. Come on, let's go. Party, let's go. So this is where your boss is, huh? Yeah. Iguchi, son. Are you the leader of this group? What do you want? I came to find out your reason for attacking us. Please tell me. <laughs> not gonna... Not about to spill my gut to you in trash can. All that matters is we're going to exact a retribution until every last one of you is sent to meet your maker. Retri... Who died and who made you god? You heard me. Retribution. It's thanks to the dregs of society that I lost my dreams. My family. It's family? What's that have to do with attacking us? Shut up, the homeless are no better than vermin. Exterminate them! Blast it! Kamaducho Mon. Evening, Dave. How are you doing tonight? Oh. You know what? First, take the most of these guys out. I'm getting my butt kicked too much. What's that move? How is Landon Strip Dave today? Cut out the homeless harassment, you hear me? Not on your life. I'll never forgive trash like him. So I've heard several times, now tell us why. My dreams, my family, homeless people took both from me, huh? Three years or so ago, I owned a little pub. It was small, but it was mine. It was everything I always dreamed of. It wasn't in a great location, and I didn't see much prof. It didn't seem, and I didn't see much profit. But I did just start getting regulars. I was happy. 
Then you bums started camping out in the park next door. At first I felt sorry for them. Didn't even stop them from... Uh, uh, them from dumpster diving through the pub's garbage. They started inviting their friends from all over. Then they began partying morning, noon and night. It scared people away. The police didn't do a thing. Soon, if, soon even my regulars were too afraid to come anymore. Blink of an eye, the only thing left was the depths I'd taken on Rio on to open the place. My dream was dead. Went looking for a job to pay off my loans, but in this recession, you can't, find, can't even find work that'll put food on the table. My wife eventually got fed up, took the kids, and left me. Still, I worked my fingers to the bone to pay off what I owed. But every time I see these guys, it hits me. Be living the good life it weren't for them. Never forget it, the sight of those dirty hobos cheerfully squatting in the rooms of my pub. That's why I rounded up a, a group of like-minded citizens to get revenge. That's what happened, I see. Get it, you lost your family and your dream got shattered. That's gotta hurt like a motherfucker. Oh yes, but it doesn't change the fact that you're blaming everyone but yourself and picking on people who can't fight back. Revenge is a hell of a drug, trust me, I know. But it ain't too late to walk back to the from this ledge. If you had the fighting spirit to pay off your debt, you can do damn near anything. Iguchi son, I must apologize. You don't. You don't gotta apologize for nothing. I do. For what I said earlier, and for what happened to him. I don't know if us ever meant to be a bother. As someone who knows what it's like to lose it all, it breaks my heart to see the cycle continue. So please allow me to apologize, I am truly sorry. He's right, there's no point in you apologizing to me. Just like there's no point in me taking my anger and frustration out on you guys. Gucci san I'm pretty burned out at the moment. I don't really know what's up popped down to my mom's grave, but they've been pretty socially burned out the last few days, so came to a low intensity chill stream. Nice. Wait. Yeah, that you came to a low intensity chill stream, that's nice. The rest is not nice. <clears throat> Dave, everyone has uh, a little bit of a burnout now and then. Don't let it get to you too much. Before you know it, you're uh, smoking a joint and uh, partying out again. Ah, don't mind me. My brain is all um, goobert. Don't mention it. Besides, I reckon you still got to keep an eye out for the rest of the hooligans. Maybe not. I have a feeling we've seen the last of them. You're right. Sajima-san, when you said you understand what it's like to be addicted to revenge, I'm overstepping my bend, bounce. I beg your pardon. Nah, don't sweat it. These are some odds and odds and ends we pulled together. They're hardly worth the kindness you've shown us, but please accept them gladly. Knowing that might be enough for folks like Iguchi and those whom Lum's fellows to coexist. At least I hope. Okay, that's the next side quest, but I don't want to do that side quest yet. Because that one is part of a chain. With the one we want to do is Mother and Child, which should be around here somewhere. This guy. There's another one there, though. I don't know which one that is. Excuse me, are you Sejima-san? Who's asking? Uh, friend, I'm a respectable businessman, I assure you. I've been looking for you. How'd you hear about me, anyhow? Can't relax, I just happened to have some homeless men in my circle of acquaintances. I asked one if he knew anybody who could help me out, and your name came up. Alright then, so what do you want? Actually, there's a little uh, job I'd like to do. A paying job? Yes. Can you spare a moment to hear more about it? Spare him out. I can't seem to focus on anything. My brain feels like a washing machine with shoes going round in its or tornado of farts. Take your pick. Tornado or farts sounds like a good option. I understand, but I'm happy to hear you're interested. I'm Takeda. 
a manager at Oyama Talent Productions. Let's head to our office to discuss the particulars. Particulars. Sejima san is here to see you, ma'am. I'm Oyamada, president of Oyamada Talent Productions. So, what's this job until Oyamada san? I'd like you to be a security guard for my daughter, Makiko. Now that she's making more media appearances, she's starting to get mobbed by rapid fans. Not just tell the comps, ain't that their job? A discretion is crucial this early on Makiko's career. Surrounding her with police could cause a scandal. Show business is all about survival of the fittest. We just want to avoid any unnecessary trouble. Okay, fine. So you don't want to fuzz involved? Then why not keep an eye on your own kid? Uh, you see, with Makiko-chan... God, it's because I refuse to let President Useless be responsible for my safety. She couldn't raise her own child, let alone protect her top talent. Makiko-chan, is that any way to talk about your mother? Hey, I call her president, and that's what matters, right? Because, in case you forgot, I didn't even exist to this woman until I started making TV appearances. Makiko, you only just became a regular talk show guest daytime. And that, if anything were to happen to you now, I don't want any part of this stupid industry. You're the one who wants to be on TV, not me. Quit making me live your dream. I'm terribly sorry, but you see how it is. This is why we would like you to handle her security detail, if you say so. Can relate. <laughs> Vampires. What matters here is that Makiko-chan's being stalked, so will you be her bodyguard? Accept the job. Get back on the street, Makiko. Well, did you talk to the guy with the white jacket nearby and he'll point you to the north? I'll be sure to pay you handsomely. Just please keep Makiko safe. Makiko-chan, be heading home for the day. Would you please escort her to her cab? It's a taxi stand, no problem. All right, Makiko-san. Forward to working with you and all that jazz. God! Ugh. All right, now, where's the taxi stand from here? Park Boulevard East, by the entrance to West Park. Yeah? Not a well. Gotta get my bearings again. Well, let's hustle. Pass me around. You're my bodyguard. A little professionalism will literally kill you. Where's present useless? Find this weirdo. What you waiting for? Come on, West Park ain't far. I need to use the ladies' room. And then there's stalkers after you, aren't they? Can't hold it. Wait here, I'll be right back. Dash is off. Man, this kid's a real pain in the old asshole. She fall in. <laughs> Sejima san, where's Makiko chan? She's on the can, just waiting for her to wipe up the office, but she didn't come back in. Guess she got away. Oh no. Some trolls just posted it on her fence site threatening to attack her. You don't think? Alright, I'll find her. Go tell your boss. On it! Well fuck me, better check around here first. Okay, guy in a white suit. You. It's with those maniacs chasing that girl around just when you think the city's dangerous as this. Wonder if she's okay. Maybe I should have called police. Hey, that girl you saw being chased, was she wearing a black jacket? Huh? Oh, yeah, I think so. That'd be Makiko. You see where she went? She went running along this road towards Shif Shifuku Street. Notify the police? Nah, don't bother calling the cops. I'll take care of this. She headed towards West Park, yeah? Thanks, kid. Rolling, rolling down a river, rolling down a river. Fuck you. Dude, there's serious danger. It's called police, but I don't want those maniacs coming after me. See, girl in blackjack could come by. What? Oh, or this mob of crazed fanboys grabbed her. They dragged her into that parking lot. Big shot businesswoman went in there alone. Pantsuit. Real CEO looking type. She ran in after them. That's when the screams thing started. It's 
that someone got to do something, please hurry up and help them. Take good care of sexy widow Makiko. Why wouldn't we? We're her biggest fans. And phone just shit the bed. Who's here tonight, Jordi? Who is in the house? Says five people, but I'm the only one talking. It's because everyone is lurking. Lurking, lurking, lurking. Hit me with all you want, but you don't touch my daughter. Shut up unless you want more, bitch. You're the one to talk. You made mad bank showing off that fine ass of hers. She dresses up all sexy when she's on stage. Why not now? Come on, baby. Show us those titties your mommy brought, bought you. You dust hag. Climb up and enjoy the show. Time for a private sesh with the famous Makiko-chan. And we've got all access passes. There you are. Who the fuck? At least you could do is be a good client and not run off. I ain't getting paid enough for following you into the can. Just stand there, you're my bodyguard, aren't you? Then do your job. I ain't done nothing yet to you. So I got no reason to do anything to them. Are you blind? They hurt me. She could die. They hurt her. She could die. I order start to protect you, not uh, what you call her. Present useless. And I ain't one for charity work. Are you blind and deaf? They're about to enough. You want someone's help? Look him in the eyes and ask nice. Didn't hear the magic words. Please save her. Please save my mommy. Please save my mom! <laughs> there. Was that so hard? God, nothing chaps my ass more than a... Pre... Precocious brat. You think you're some kind of white knight? Fuck off, man. You hear the little lady? This here's my job, so get in line for all your all excess ass whooping. We're gonna see if I can summon Beelzebub or Lucifer. Beelzebub or Lucifer? Uh, please keep my dad out of this. Oh, I forgot that I'm low HP. Okay, this is not going the way I wanted to. Thankfully, I got some form of healing. Seriously? Look at these guys eat for dinner. Protein with a bit of uh, Viagra or something? Damn, I'm getting my ass whoops. I'm actually gonna lose this. Really gotta go grab some potions. Son of a bitch! The ball is in her car court now. Mommy, are you okay? Safe, thank goodness. God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I put you through all this. Or since you were little, I've been pushing you through lessons on on to the stage and now into danger. I never gave you the time to be a child. It was my dream to make a big showbiz, not yours. I guess I was trying to live vicariously through you. Forgive me. It's okay. I love you, mommy. You have called me that since grade school, really. <laughs> I actually feel like one again. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Sajima son. No sweat on the day's work. Don't mean to pry, but do you have any children of your own? Nope. Never got the hitch. Never got. Never even got hitched. Why? Hmm. Just thinking what a fine father you'd be. 
I have to remember how you handled my daughter earlier. You were more parental than I've ever been. Never. Molly. Fine by me. Take what you can from it. But time's wasted. You got yourself a taxi to catch. Really can't thank you enough. Here's your pay. Though I could never be enough. Please take it. I actually think I'd like to try the showbiz thing for a while. It's not all sunshine cupcakes, but it's my job, and it's not all bad fanboys aside. Good on you. Break a leg, alright? I'll be sure to buy a record when it comes out. Well, <laughs> my record? Haha, <laughs> you're too much. They say nothing, nothing. Be sure to buy my record, okay? Bye. Look how beat up I am. Can't even walk straight! Kunario. There was big time informant in these parts. Who hires fellas who are down on their luck? Sure, we all know the rumors, but I've been in this town a year already and I've seen or heard nor tale of him. Bigger reckoned he only hires folks he can trust. Well, that's given. Info biz trusts everything, sure. If you could get on one of those Intel running gigs, I'd be living easy on the street. Well, you'd at least be making enough money to eat. But why should he hire you? You don't have a single contact. A low network to get our info from. Ah, you're probably right. Guess I should just forget it. So this information broker is real enough. But no one's got any solid info figures. Let's see. The shop is right over there. Asama's been in recently. I usually hear her off in Discord. She's been quiet of late. Uh, she's been in and out. Just like everyone else, in and out, in and out. Says one thing, leaves, yells, blah blah, gets me grumpy, I yell at them, etc, etc. <laughs> right this way, please. You know the deal by now, Dave. La na 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 da da na da na 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 na. Ooh, there's a key in there. Give me a few of these, will you? Sure, three. Enough for the time being. Keys! We got the hottest hostesses all around! I run past the area that I need to go. Oops. La, na, na, na. I am a warrior, I can't help it. She makes me laugh, I just fear she takes me seriously when I joke around. Honestly, I hope she doesn't, because I joke around way too much as well. Okay, you know, I'm back on 200k, which is good. But from what I can tell, she doesn't actually take anything serious when we joke around. 
feel like she knows she care. She knows we care. Damn, English is hard. What are you gonna do, spoon our long-winded speech? Just give it up already, enough already. Your idle threats don't intimidate me. That was me asking nicely. You won't like not so nice. Hey, come on, what are you doing? Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Look, new my son, take my advice and pack it in for today, got it? You never know when these political extremists will snap. Maybe even take down an innocent bystander or two. Why, I... It's really sure and cheer tunes. No props, no props. My brain is in hyperdrive tonight. Hyperdrive. I think so. Thank you very much, your lifesaver. Sir! Are you alright? Or hired thug? Had enough of your inferences. What are you talking about? No, Hirachi kun. On the contrary, this man helped me. So you're a politician, huh? My name is Numai. I deeply apologize for my aide's gross misunderstanding. Please forgive me. It's alright. I know I don't look like. I don't much look like the average upstanding citizen. So that kids come by here just to hack with you? Yes, this part of Kamarucho is under my el el electoral district. I'm a fucking what made like words. I've been giving public speeches here, but lately it seems I've been attracting the wrong kind of attention. It's a conspiracy. Rival has been sending these higher protesters after you. Get out, Chikun. I won't have you spreading baseless rumors about. A respected politician opponent. But, sir! Well, 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 if it isn't new, my son. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Shida Kawa sensei. Are you speaking here today? You certainly do work hard. Or do you hardly work? Haha. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Without the strong constant. Uh, without the strong constituency you enjoy, Shida Kawa san, I have to focus on more grassroots efforts. It's just fine. When I was younger, I worked my way up by doing the same. But you know, youngsters these days have no stomach for real debate. If you try to make too many waves, the rattle will have it out for you. One wrong word could spell the end of your politician. Politician. <laughs> That's what my brain is saying. Political career! Haha, <laughs> took fucking five years. I suppose. Well, I'm sure you still have a bright future ahead. Do your best to end the wheels of democracy. Shoot me already. It'll turn just fine. Take care now. Take care, butthole. See, I just know he's behind this. How many times have I told you as much? What was that windbag? Councilman Masumi Shirakawa. My sensei will be doing head to head against him in the next election into the diet. Please, Haruchi kun, don't go accusing Shirakawa sensei without proof. I'm sure he'd never even consider doing such a thing. You really trust that Shirakawa guy, huh? Why, oh, I idolize Shirakawa sensei. He entered politics at a young age and has accomplished a great deal since then. He and I may be political rivals, but I can't even imagine him doing anything so underhanded. Say, give campaign speeches if they're going to keep causing all this trouble. It's like they're being harassed by some higher thugs. I'll be your lookout. I'll be your lookout if you like. Oh, but I couldn't impose on you like that. I just want to lend a helping hand to a guy who could use one. Really? Well, I don't mind. I appreciate it. But please, try not to do anything too rash. Quite the crowd. There might already be a handful of rebel rousers in there. 
Hate to ask, but could you please start patrolling the area? Sure thing. If I find someone trying to interrupt the speech, I toss them out, yeah? Yes, but just because someone's speaking up doesn't always mean they're working against us. So please observe carefully before throwing them out. Don't jump the, dan the gun, you mean. Alright. Right, thank you. Dear Grimes, you're a stir of shit for the shit shit stirrers. You're a funny man. Big Ma is a busy man. If you get something to say, I'm all ears. Big government, big mouth. Do you wanna get nominated for a kick in the caucus? You're outnumbered, Grandpa. Well, it ain't no democracy. How about we tally it up over and there and see if strength really is in numbers? All right, show me what you got. Weaklings. Is this game just beating up people? Pretty much when you're not working on main quests. Also, the side quests are just fucking hilarious. Sometimes. Sometimes they are kind of boring, but sometimes they are just amazing and funny. Someone take the piss, fight, make them eat dirt, make the regret stage one and two. Something like that shit in my leg. Hey, why are you loafing around? Get back to- oh. Thank goodness you're here. Save us, sir. Sorry. You must have me confused with my twin. We get mixed up all the time, haha. <laughs> Too late, trying to cover your ass now. I figured this thing was your bright idea. Are you going to blab to the media? Report me to the police? Sue me? I wasn't planning on doing much of anything with you. But if you call yourself a half-decent politician, you get, can't get sidetracked by this underhanded crap. Try doing your goddamn job. You became a politician because you had a vision, yeah? Well, somewhere down the line, polls and press became more important to you than sticking to your principles. It ain't all about winning. Honest politicians out there look up to you. Don't let them down like this. Be better. Bah. You think you're filibustering such impudence. But you're right. I do indeed have a vision. I simply forgot about it for a moment. I suppose I owe you one, young man. Yeah, big time. More impudence. Come on, boys. We've got chats to hang. Well, my English is terrible tonight. I mean, it's nothing new for me. Big fat ass. Speech ended without incident. Anything crop up on your end? Yeah, I found a guy who was sending punks to hack with him. We had a little debate. Haha, <laughs> knew it. it. Was on Shirakawa's payroll, wasn't he? Was he? No, I thought he was, so I gave him the third degree. Turns out, he was acting alone. See, I tell you, Hiroyuchi-kun, don't accuse good man without proof. Do you understand why that is now? Yes, I'm sorry. Thank you for your help today, seijima san I regret that my position prevents me from offering a token of gratitude. Don't mention it. Civic duty and all that. Really appreciate it, too. Well, goodbye, then. Well, goodbye, then. Thank you again, Sejima-san, for everything. You bet. Knock him dead. Knock him dead. Knock him out of the park. Whew, there are a shit ton of side quests in this game. Never, ever, ever, ever is there enough. Are? Arara? 
Are you ready? I don't know. I'm gonna go save. Go to the safe spot. Nee 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 nee. Na 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 na. Who's there? I have a message from Tado Koro. Right, come in. I teach you our local dialect. It's like English for drunk people. Rather not. It's about work. Suzuki san. Have you heard of the Dragon Palace? Yeah, I mean the undersea castle in the old fairy tale? No bit. Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Forget I said anything. Now hold up. You're screwing with me. Perish the thought. It has to do with your assignment. I just want to make sure. Speaking of which, which you'll be working as a bouncer at a certain facility. Okay, my apologies. It's a touch illegal, so Tado Koro himself will give you the details once you get there. May I ask you to please proceed to the abandoned building on the Hotel District side of Park Boulevard. Can't miss it. Todokoro will be waiting out front. Gotcha. Park Boulevard, Hotel District side, yeah? Yes. Head to the building behind the MEB Red Light District info kiosk. Please try not to get lost. Oh, and I could ask you... And could I ask you to stay here? Tada, Shikun. This particular job site is no place for children. Don't sweat it. You hold down the fort and keep an eye on the place for me, will you? Okay, I will. Be careful out there, big guy. Alright then, Suzuki-san. Good luck on your assignment. Heading to the hotel district site part. No, we are not! Okay, good. We are going into this room. I am gonna stash all the garbage. No, sorts. Save. Ugh. Is there anyone to raid? There are quite a few few people to raid. But I'm really lazy, and I don't want to stay for chats because I just want to go to bed, brush my teeth. So I'm going to be a meany, a very meany, 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 meany person. Guys, gals, ladies and gents, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your evening and sleep well. Sweet dreams. I'll be talking to you guys Wednesday. We'll continue this major game called Yakuza 4. Send me to Jack. No, we're not sending you to Jack. Jack has enough people. You can go on your own. <laughs> oh, I'm so mean. I don't want to send to anyone. I'm not going to send anyone to anyone. Because I'm a lazy asshole. And I don't want to raid. I just want to go to sleep. Uh, okay, uh, done being an asshole. Guys, gals, ladies and gents, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. You all have a fantastic rest of your evening. Sleep well. And until the very fucking next time, good night.